Welcome into the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas for the second of a two-game set this weekend at the Jones Center between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Ole Miss Rebels. Alongside me today is Corey Porter on color and Quinn Shields on camera. I'm EJ Sanders getting set for puck drop on senior night here at the Jones Center. A little bit lighter of a crowd on hand, but Renault Gabber is getting the start for Arkansas. Hasn't laced him up in a long time for the Razorbacks, but it is senior night tonight, and in honor of him, they're going to give him the start. Uh, what do you expect to see from him? Uh, same thing we always saw. He's going to come out and compete. He's uh, a veteran of this program. Um, I mean, he's 7-2 all-time as a D3 goalie for the Hogs. Spent a season on the D1 team, three seasons on the Division Three team, and they're honoring him here on senior night with a start along with his fellow seniors, uh, Zach Palmer and Cameron Farinetta as well. Palmer and Farinetta will get the start. Uh, Branscombe on the line there, Tyler Valdron, as well as freshman Nick Valentini. And Arkansas came away with a tough win last night. It was a 1-1 game late in the closing minutes, able to get that go-ahead goal. Uh, you mentioned Coach Sims making up a, a, a lineup change that actually led to that goal. DJ. Yeah, it's putting Tommy Weiser on the top line along with uh, Griffin Sugasawara on the ice and uh, ended up being a perfect pairing behind the cage. Uh, Weiser made an excellent pass out front, high slot area, and Sugasawara was able to finish it off for the game winning goal as we get ready for puck drop. Center ice, Ole Miss looking for revenge as Arkansas looking to continue the momentum in the second semester here. Face off one over here for Farinetta. He's going to take it across the blue line. Offensive zone. Farinetta, high circle, fires a shot. Club down quickly by Parent. We're going to see a lot of Parent tonight. Cameron Parent uh, from uh, Springfield, Massachusetts. He was 11-0-1 coming into the weekend. Just got his first regulation loss yesterday. Yeah, he's been stellar all year and looked good last night as well, but Arkansas able to get the better of him. Face off to the right of Parent. It's going to be one back here by Arkansas. Valentini trying to shuffle that one along, but it's taken away. Back the other direction comes Milson. Milson sends this one into the zone, and Arkansas is going to run it down. Yeah, Arkansas with the early shot. They're going to want to put the pressure on early and often on this goaltender. He's a little bit smaller, so uh, you may see him try to pick the top of that net, but they got to get him to get down onto the ice first. He is quick moving side to side as well, so Arkansas definitely has their work cut out for them again tonight before they rematch this team next week for a two-game set down in Little Rock. Face off one back, picked up here by Arkansas's Deacon. He makes a turning move back to the sideboards, and it's uh, knocked away there by Ole Miss. Ole Miss coming back the other direction, an outlet pass, finds the stick of his man and into the zone. They come, Castellano shot, glove down there by Gabbery. First action he's had in a while, and able to see it into the glove and smother it. Yeah, his first save of the night. Shots are one-to-one -one so far, just 32 seconds into this Saturday snowy game. Crowd still trickling in, a lot more people than I expected to see with the weather out there, but it's good to see people get out for hockey in some hockey weather. A slick day outside on the roads here in northwest Arkansas as Palmer gets this puck, banks one off the boards, hits the shoulder of his man and out of the zone. Parisi trying to run it down, but it's dumped back in by Ole Miss. 19.20 to go, first period of action. Palmer with the puck. Palmer stick handling behind his own cage. He's going to make an outlet pass, finds Parisi. Parisi's going to skate into the zone himself, tries to make a stick handling move around a man. Arkansas dumps it deep into the zone and is picked up by Sullivan. D to D pass, far side of the ice, an outlet pass now by Storner, misses the stick of his man. Ole Miss trying to apply pressure, but Sugasawara turns it back the other way. Three on two, Sugasawara with Deacon and Parisi. Shuffle pass across, couldn't find Parisi's stick. Parisi's just going to bat one into the corner there. Picked up by Ole Miss. Ole Miss trying to come back the other direction. Sullivan with the puck. He's going to dump this one into the zone, and Gabbery has trouble with that one. The ground ball, another shot sticked aside by Gabbery. Arkansas avoids danger there. And they'll send this one back along the boards. Arkansas to pick it up there. Baker giving chase for Ole Miss. Dumped out of the zone and recovered here by Lindhorst. Lindhorst controlling the puck, makes a pass to the near side. That's Harlan. Harlan trying to dump it out of the zone and does. A big hit laid on here on the near side by Odeline. And Higgins chases it down into the corner. Odeline puts a stick on the ice to block the pass from Baker. Baker gets tied up there in the corner. Baker trying to shuffle one along the boards. Finds his man here on the near side. Seeger with the puck. Seeger make a turning move. He, he leaves the zone, but the puck doesn't. Fires a shot into the traffic, blocked down in front by his own man. Higgins tries to bat one along the boards and it's shot in front and Gabbery smothers it yet again. Two minutes, three seconds gone in the first period of action, still no score. Yeah, nothing real threatening yet on Gabbery. Uh, looked a little shaky on that first save, but he's got three of them to his credit tonight. And Arkansas will try to look to get the puck out of the zone and down on the other end. They started down that way early, but uh, the last couple minutes it's been down on this end and Ole Miss been on the offensive. Going to put the new kids on the block out there, the Weiser line along with Tilson and Riley. 
Arkansas is going to bat this puck back behind their own net. Marsh picks it up there. Marsh tries to shuffle one back along, finds Magnus. Magnus sends one along the far side. Picked up here by Weiser, the game-winning assist yesterday in his first game as a Razorback. Picked up here by Ole Miss. Ole Miss trying to find an outlet pass, cannot. Magnus just sends one down and out of play. 17.36 to go, first period of action. Let's go back to a few plays ago. That was a three-on-one. Sukasawara tried to make the pass cross ice and a great defensive job by Sullivan, able to get a stick on that saucer pass as he was looking for Parisi and broke up that odd man rush and kept this game knotted at zero. Face off just outside the Ole Miss zone, one back by Arkansas. Picked up here by Marsh. Marsh going to bank a pass along. It's blocked down there by Sullivan, but Arkansas able to power it into the zone. Picked up by Gates behind the net. Luke Gates, a little bank pass behind his own cage. Finds Sullivan. Sullivan patient with the puck. Makes an outlet pass, gets all the way down the ice, beating out the icing here. Chasing it down in the corners, Campbell. Campbell looking for a centering pass, and good job by Gabbery to get a stick on it and send it back to center ice. And Castellano didn't see his man retreating there as Metzelfeld was trying to get back onside. Didn't hustle fast enough to do so, and Castellano takes it in offside. It looks like the senior Palmer. Farinetta as well back out on the ice. All three seniors out on the ice. With 17.09 left here to play in the first. Arkansas getting a tie up here. Branscom not going to find the puck. Palmer over to Valdron. Valdron with the puck. He's going to bank a pass along. Just missed the stick of Valentini. And Ole Miss will turn it back the other way. Castellano centering pass. Broken up nicely by Nick Valentini, but taken away quickly. Back and forth they go. Milson now Valdron knocks it into the zone for Arkansas. Arkansas regaining the puck. Valdron just trying to push it deep into the zone as best as he can. A centering pass, hit the stick of Valentini, but bounced below the goal line, still with it. Another centering pass, Branscom in front, rebound there. Valentini's stick was all caught up. Another rebound, Parent having to fight him off in front of the net, and it's two on one back the other direction. A good back check there by Branscom. Branscom's gonna have to turn around, and that's offside. Entering the zone a little too early there was Souza. 16.27 to go first period in Arkansas. A couple chances on the other end. Yeah, good chances for sure. Puck just sitting on the doorstep. Uh, they had a third chance, and Sugasawara just overskated it and uh, missed what would have been a wide open net as Parent was still down on the ice after making the initial two saves. Good Parisi. chance for the Hogs. For easy to Palmer, and nice little tic-tac passing, but Valdron can't handle that one. Comes all the way back down into the Arkansas zone after Rebel dump. Arkansas picks it up here, banks a pass along, finds Valdron. Valdron to Sugasawara. Sugasawara with time and space. Finds Parisi. Parisi gets it checked away from him. And this one gets dumped into the zone. Arkansas checks up the offside. Picked up behind the net here by Lindhorst. He makes a DDD pass to Sullivan. Sugasawara can't pick that off, but Valdron does in the neutral zone. Arkansas's neutral zone trap has been frustrating for Ole Miss. Sent up the near side boards. All weekend long, Ole Miss... Seem to have trouble getting it past the Jones Center logo at center ice as Huey makes a turning move into the zone. The right-handed stick fires a weak shot on net, and Gabbery coolly makes that save. I think he's settling down now. And now's the time when we tell you that uh, the Jones Center has a small ice here. <laughs> that, that neutral zone, about half the size of what it should be, so that could contribute uh, to some of uh, Ole Miss's rushes getting stopped in the zone. They're used to working with a little bit more room, but they're running into traffic a lot sooner than expected, so uh, they'll have to adjust to that tonight. Face off, one to the side boards. Odeline trying to shuffle it ahead. Wheeler and Everett on the ice now. Wheeler taking the spot of the injured Garrett Jackson on this line. As Odeline skates it ahead. How about Odeline? Dylan Odeline, all the talent in the world right there, trying to skate by the Ole Miss Rebels. He gets it taken from him finally, and a backhand weak out of the zone there by Sullivan. He just slaps at it again, and Arkansas picks the puck up. Everett looking to backhand one along. Moore giving chase here. He looks for a hit on Storner. Another dump into the zone. This one on goal. Parent content with sending this one behind his own cage. Picked up here. Looking for the outlet pass on the far side, or near side, to Storner. Storner gets it stolen away. Moore centering pass out front. Hit the stick of Wheeler. Back to Moore. Now loading up a shot is Everett, and it gets blocked down in front. Looked like it hit the mask of Moore. And Sullivan sends it ahead. A nice stick down there by Baker. The Rebels into the offensive zone now as they make a turning move. A centering pass out front. Gabbery easily gets a blocker on that one. Down into the corner, a tie up there. A couple of Arkansas players, including Baker for Ole Miss. Finally comes back to the near side board. Seeger and Storner fighting for it for Ole Miss. It looks like Marsh and Everett down here for Arkansas. Seeger comes away with the puck, low circle, fires a pass in front, missed the stick of the man on the doorstep. That was Patrick Manser. 
Wheeler bats it out of the zone to himself. Wheeler trying to work it along and loses his stick. He's going to have to just hit the bench. Marsh got to be careful with that stick. A little high on that slash there. They send one to the near side. Riley trying to skate it in. 6'4", 220. Arkansas has been looking for that height and weight to add to their roster. And they got it there in Riley. His parents well out of his goal crease. He gets checked along the boards. Parent having to recover quickly in a delayed penalty here. And Arkansas will be going to the box. Cross check going to be the call made by Lawless, the referee, enforcing the law here. Six minutes, five seconds gone. First period of action, and it looks like there's going to be a penalty against Riley. Be his first penalty minutes of the year. Yeah, he doesn't want to sit down either, but Arkansas will go on the penalty kill, and Gabbery may get his first real test of the night. Zach Riley, the sophomore from Prosper, Texas. Magnus over there trying to consult with the referee, saying it was me, not Riley. And they do. They, they do make the swap. All right. 18 instead of 19 goes in the box. Don't see that a whole lot. Tie up here. Magnus almost volunteered himself on that one. That's like a basketball when you, you foul a guy, you put your hand up in the air, right? Yep. Make sure your star doesn't get called for as it's down low, Chatham with the puck. Chatham stick handling here on the power play. The Magnus cross check minor back to the point. Storner fires a shot, Real just gets tipped in front. It's gonna say a real nice save there, but looked like it just bounced over his shoulder and Storner puts it in the goal yeah, off just, the tip. Just trickles in the net, not much Gabry could do about that one. As soon as he wound up, you could see both Ole Miss wingers just crashing towards that front of the net, trying to create that traffic, get a rebound. And I think it was the guy on the far side that actually got the tip on it, just over the top of Gabbery. And Ole Miss takes the early one to nothing lead on the power play goal. One nothing. We'll get that score up there for you as Arkansas is going to get this puck now. Suga Sawara going to dump this one into the zone. Sent back around the boards. And Parisi giving chase goes off the back of the goal, but Ole Miss able to recover. Sullivan looking to break out. Has a man far side. Valjean reads the play, but it gets chipped around him. Holding on to it, Chatham. Centering pass, a diving play by Gabbery, but it hit the stick of Harlan wrong. He wasn't able to finish it off. And a nice job by Suga Sawara. Tried to power by two guys. A shot from the point. Rebound out front. Gabbery diving again. He is flailing all over the place right now. Looks a little bit... Shaken after that first goal, Valdron into the zone. Lays, lays a pass off, looking for Suga Sawara, who chases it down into the corner. He's got a referee to deal with down there. It's picked off there by Storner. Storner's going to get the puck back after the pass. Referee's still looking for somewhere to go. And he finally finds a spot as Arkansas gets the puck back. High slot, Valdron shot. Gets blocked down into the corner here. Parisi going to make a check off the puck. Parisi trying to get this puck now. Suga Sawara over there trying to dig it out, along with Sullivan for Ole Miss and Huey for Ole Miss. Can be picked up here by Suga Sawara. Back to the point. Valdron just to chop at the puck. This one played down. This is Suga Sawara. He's got no one to pass to there. Had somebody in front of the net, but that's tough to do. And Suga Sawara is down on the ice. Not good to see. Hopefully he gets up under his own power, and he does. He's going to skate to the bench. Looks like an upper body injury here. Palmer's just going to jump, dump this one into the zone. Suga Sawara still hasn't made it there, and he does finally sit down. Looked like he caught a stick on the wrist there. Comes back down the ice, up into the air, and is played with a high stick. Odeline smartly lets Castellano touch it, or was it smart as Castellano gets a shot on net. Nice cover there by Gabbery. Yeah, lost, the, lost the puck momentarily there, Gabbery did. Eight minutes gone in the first. Sometimes you just got to take the whistle. I'd rather him take that whistle and get a face off in your own zone than uh, you know, give up a, a chance like that with your goaltender who just gave up a goal. Uh, you don't want to leave them hanging like that. If they had scored there, uh, I think that would have really deflated this Arkansas team. You already see the intensity of Ole Miss picking up just a little bit, uh, a little bit of momentum swinging their way. So Arkansas will have to look to try to stymie that. Uh, we'll see if Suga Sawar gets back out on the ice soon. Getting checked out right now by the trainer on the bench. This one comes back down the ice, and that's going to be icing. Sent down by Arkansas, and an icing here. 11.52 to go, first period of action. Seems like Arkansas is getting chances, uh, even strength on the other end, uh, which is something that they struggled with until the third period yesterday. They have solved, I think, the Ole Miss uh, or, or breakout, where they've, they've stopped them in the neutral zone for it. Yeah, absolutely, and they're getting rebounds that are just sitting there, just haven't really, really been able to get a clean one uh, to try to bury, but uh, uh, they're there for the take and for the time being. Odeline's going to get this puck behind the net after the one faceoff. Everett's going to get it near side. Now he's going to skate it across his own blue line. Now the red line sends it down on goal. Tough to handle there. Blocker to side. 
Handled with finesse there and a big hit by Odeline. Arkansas has got to bring the physical play again today. They brought it last night and it really helped them out. A centering pass broken up by his own man. Back the other direction. Arkansas battle for it in the neutral zone. Now Moore comes away with it, tries to load up a shot, gets checked off the puck nicely there by Souza. Arkansas looking for the puck. And trip from behind there, and it's a two on one the other way. Higgins has to recover quickly, holding on to the puck. Nice job Great on the play. back check by Higgins. Tucker Higgins hustling back and stops the Lindhorst shot. A centering Higgins pass again. broken up by Moore, and a huge Ooh. hit laid on by Lindhorst. Ooh, that was high. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah, in the SEC HC, you get two referees, one linesman. I think the whole crowd was looking at the one linesman that didn't have his arm in the air. And that was definitely a high hit, whether it's an elbow or whatever they call. But definitely a Lindhorst going to the box. He went straight there, too. He didn't even need to be escorted. Was that Moore that took the hit? Moore looked like he might have hit his head on the ice, too. That was a scary hit. He got hit really high up around the shoulders. Yeah, he's up and all right, though. So we'll see how much time they put on the board for that one. Two minutes. Well, Ole Miss thinks they got to bring the power today. Arkansas brought the physical play last night, and it looks like Ole Miss wants to bring it to them. But Ole Miss, they got to be a little bit smarter about uh, picking their spots. Yeah. Captains Palmer and Churko talking to the referees as they're still trying to figure this out. 10.59 left here in the first period. Ole Miss with a one to nothing lead. They took the one to nothing lead last night as well before Arkansas was able to knot it up. And it stayed that way for the majority of the game. The second period goal by Ole Miss last night. Answered with a second period goal by Arkansas. And then late in the third period, they're gonna send two to the box. Little's going as well. It's gonna be a misconduct minor, or sorry, a misconduct penalty against Lindhorst. Looks like they actually got two minutes, two two-minute penalties up on the boards. We'll see if that's a, a timekeeping error or if it will in fact be a five on three advantage for Arkansas. Could be a huge momentum swing in this game. I mean it already is, but you gotta capitalize on these opportunities. And Suga Sawara is back out there. It's good to see. May, may have taken one where the one of the few spots where there's not a pad. Yeah, very thin. Very thin on pads near your wrist in your forearm yeah. area. Yeah, five on three. Face off will be to the left of Parent. Five on three for Arkansas. Not sure what they got little for. But Arkansas is going to have the two man advantage for two minutes. This is Palmer skating down low. They're going to pressure, really constricting this defense of Ole Miss. Shot through the traffic. Arkansas picks it back up. Back to the point. Valdron, Valdron, tic tac passing with Deacon. Deacon's got Palmer on the near side. Now to Valdron. Valdron fires a shot off the post. Boy, had some of the fans hoping on that one. Palmer with it now, a minute 38 to go. Valdron shot whipped wide to the net. Arkansas trying to get the puck out of the corner now. Palmer pinching down from his D spot. Suga Suara gets it out of position. Ole Miss player in the corner, but Arkansas picks it back up. A big cross check oh. in front of the net there. Oh, going to be another play penalty. By Ole Miss. Oh, a terrible play. You're going to get an Arkansas player going to the box, and then you come up and you cross check the guy. I know you got to protect your goalie, but. That, that could have been a good swing there for Ole Miss, but instead they're going to get another guy in the box as well. So it looks like it'll probably be a, a four on three, five on three, I don't know. Sullivan's going to the box. There's a goaltender interference there on yep. Farinetta. Ran into the goaltender, knocked Perrin off his feet, and then in retaliation of that, Sullivan came over and made a hit. This is not very smart hockey right now by Ole Miss, honestly. That's about as objective as I can be about that. They've, they've got opportunities out there, and they still, you know, every time Arkansas makes a mistake, it seems like Ole Miss makes one doubly so. Uh, Arkansas able to get a couple of shots on the power play so far. Parent standing strong. Uh, had one go off of the post. But other than that, looked decent on the, the penalty kill, trying to keep him out of the center of the ice. But Arkansas was definitely pressuring, and it looked like an inadvertent goaltender interference. Farinetta just kind of tripped up and fell backwards into Parent. Coincidental Miners might keep it five on three. That's what it looks like. Ole Miss. Cherko coming out the top. Mm -hmm. So face off will be to the left of the goaltender, Parent, who's been excellent this weekend even. Only gave up two goals yesterday before being uh, before an empty netter by Arkansas made it three to one. 
That was the capper on that game. A 1-0 lead for Ole Miss today. They want to answer. Five on three hockey. Coincidental minors. It's going to pull both penalties off the board. They'll be out in two minutes, though. Chatham just going to send this one down the ice. So Arkansas doesn't ruin their power play opportunity here. Gabbery coming out of the net. Palmer's going to pick this one up. Palmer on the far side of the ice. The right-handed stick. Stick handling through the neutral zone and now into the offensive zone. He'll settle it down there and try to set up a play. Valdron near side can't handle that pass. Caught up on an edge there. Valdron near side back to the far side for Palmer. He's going to switch spots with him to get on his slapper side as Palmer fires it through the traffic. Nice save by Parent. Picked up here. Arkansas sends one across. Valdron loads one up. Sends one down below the goal line for Deacon. Deacon stick handling low circle. Looking for a pass. Deacon still with the puck. Way out on the puck is Chatham. He he draws him out of position. Arkansas careful with it there as Valdron fires it through the traffic. Rebound out front. Can't be put home. Branscombe being a pest in front of the net reminds me of the Marshans and Gallagher's of the world. Yeah, good save there by Parent. Dealing with a lot of traffic in front. Arkansas really trying to get in front of him. Sitting down low. They had Suka Sawara uh, sitting on the back doorstep for quite a while there. Just couldn't find him. But they're getting these shots from the point. But the guy sitting down low got to be ready for a rebound if Parent gets one up. And you got to Get it in however you can. It could be a dirty goal like, a, like they thought it would be last night, or it could be something nice. But as long as you're ready for that puck when it comes bouncing off that goaltender. Puck laid off to the point, and Parisi just sees it go right through his legs. Ole picked up here, far side. Held in here by Odeline. Odeline's going to dump this one ahead for Valentini. Makes a stick handling move, and he gets upended there. Nice hit. As Odeline turns it back the other way. Two on one the other direction. Sends one across. Moore fires a shot. Stick save. Parent had to dive over to make that save. Marsh at the point here. Loading one up. Lays a pass off. Moore loading it up. Sends it to Odeline. Nine seconds to go in the power play. Arkansas sends it low side. Fires a shot. Nice block in front. Parisi with the puck now below the goal line. Sends it back to the point. Penalty expires. Odeline fires it through the traffic. Moore picks it up. Hustling back on defense. On the back check. Valentini's shot saved. And Moore picks it up here. Moore still with the puck. Still pressure by Arkansas. Sends one across. Moore back to the point. Marsh. Marsh high slot fires a shot goes weakly wide in the net picked up finally by Storner for Ole Miss tries to send it out of the zone doesn't clear the blue line Arkansas holds it no they say he was offside Marsh thought he held the blue line there and with 836 to go in the first period Arkansas's rush is stymied yeah excellent chance great pass there by Odeline just couldn't find the back of the net great save by Parent keeps this a one goal advantage for the Rebels face off just outside the Rebel zone Rebels pick this one up. They'll send this one across. Near side. It's going to be dumped ahead by Churko. Baker can't run that one down. This one comes all the way back down the ice. No icing. Churko will pick this puck up. Backhands one along. Big hit laid on there by Riley behind the net. A little late as Baker skates it ahead. Baker centering pass. Misses the stick of his man. Weiser on the ice along with Riley and Tilson. Picked up here by Seeger, a strong backhand back to the point. Lindhorst gets it here, fires it through the traffic. Nice job by Odeline to send it back down the ice, and this one will be blown dead. No, they're going to wave off the icing. He didn't skate fast enough to the puck, could have gotten to it. Weiser's going to chase it down in the corner. Centering pass here by Ole Miss to try to get it out, and Valdron actually gets out of position trying to pinch up on that play, but Palmer, Palmer always so sure in front of the net. Does a good job of shutting down that angle. Ole Miss firing a shot. Tough angle, and Gabry able to get enough on it to make the save. Palmer shuffles one ahead. Riley's one-on-one -on -one back the other direction. They're going to blow it dead for a penalty. Parker Tilson going to go to the box for the trip. It's unfortunate. Arkansas would have had a one-on-one -on -one coming back the other way, but got to be careful with that stick. You're responsible for where it goes and what happens, and Arkansas will pay a two-minute price for it. Looks like Farinetta is out of the box along with Sullivan as their coincidental minors have expired as well. So Tilson goes to the box. Arkansas will pick this one up here. Turning move in the corner by Valdron. A power play goal already for Ole Miss. In front of the net is Palmer. He's going to try to shut down any angle. As he comes back to the high slot, firing a shot as Sullivan. Cabaret trying to get back in position. He's hugging the near post. Comes back to the point, though, Storner. Storner to Chatham down here. Ole Miss has a man in front, and a back post pass almost find the stick of Harlan there. Harlan with it now, high circle. He's got a man near side, Chatham. Going to load one up, fires it well wide of the net. 7.05 to go in the period, a half a minute gone in this penalty. 
Harlan's got it here. He'll send it back to Chatham. They're just trying to set him up, but no angle over here for Chatham to put it in the back of the net. Gabbery been good on this side. Gabbery trying to clear the traffic in front of him. Huey, the one causing issue in front of the net. Arkansas has got to clear him out. Palmer standing in front. He's going to break up the pass. This one played with a high stick. Arkansas sends it down the other end of the ice. Coming out of the net to play. This is Parent. Parent's got Sugasawara on him. He's going to try to play it along. Sugasawara gathers, shoots. What a save by the defender. Another shot. Rebound out front. Arkansas couldn't put it home. Wow. Sullivan on the back check. Able to knock it off the goal line. Arkansas almost had a shorty. Wow. Good Good chance there for Arkansas. Big mistake by Parent, but he recovered nicely. This one gloved down by Lindhorst. He'll go fish this one out from behind his own net. 34 seconds left in the Arkansas penalty kill. Good play by Sugasawara. Almost got a goal for Arkansas. Shot there. Saved aside by Gabbery. Gabbery's got to swallow more pucks up here for Arkansas. Can't be giving up all these rebounds. It's picked up here. Seeger's got it near side. Near side hashes. Seeger with the puck. He's got it back to the point. Lindhorst firing a shot through traffic off the post. Nine seconds to go in the Arkansas penalty kill. As Seeger's got it, he fires a shot, tried to pick the corner, and it does just barely ride the top of the glass and hit that netting. That was a good penalty kill for Arkansas. They still got three seconds left on it. It's something Ole Miss will have to pay attention to. Tilson coming out of the box if the Hogs win this faceoff. But big mistake by Parent. Just couldn't handle the puck down in the corner when he came out to play it. And Sugasawara uh, just had it bounce over his stick. Couldn't get a clean shot away. And then rebound came out in front. And Parent had recovered by that point. So Arkansas could have a good chance here. We'll watch Tilson coming out of that box. Face off to the left of Gabbery. Referees conferencing over here on the near side. Three seconds in the Tilson minor penalty. It's one back by Ole Miss. He'll fire a shot through traffic, gets wide of the net. Wheeler going to chase it down. Five on five action now. Arkansas trying to get it out of their zone and try to get a quick change here. Everett on the ice now for Arkansas to join his line mates, Wheeler and Moore. Seeger down into the corner. Marsh get checking him off the puck nicely. Good job by Joseph Marsh get over and make a check. Marsh still going to chase Souza down into the corner. He makes a nice stick check there. And the pass goes Errant, looking to chase it down as Wheeler. Wheeler with a head of steam, trying to get ahead of Sullivan. Couldn't quite do it. Sullivan bats one along, finds his man Storner. Back to Sullivan up the far side boards to Campbell. Campbell knocks it ahead, and Valdron's going to control it there. Passes one off for Moore into the zone. Tries to play that one over. Looked for Valdron on that one. Now Everett's going to have to turn back. Everett. Knocks his man off the puck. Palmer with it now. Palmer skating ahead. He's got a little bit of room here to work. He's going to work to the near side. Fires a tough angled shot. Rebound out front. Arkansas not able to put it home. This is Valdron with it now. He's got Everett at the point. He's going to leave it for him. Shot through traffic. Tipped in front there. Looked like it went off the paddle of the goaltender. Sugasawara works his way through traffic. Runs into Aiden Everett and gets upended by Sullivan. Palmer knocks a man off his feet. That was Harlan. And chasing it down is Valdron to our end of the ice. The Hogs with the puck. They make an outlet pass to Palmer here on the near side. It's chipped into the neutral zone and picked up again by Ole Miss. They'll send this one down around the boards. Palmer looking to fish this one out of the corner and does. Makes a stopping move and behind his own cage, he tries to make an outlet pass near side. Everett's going to run this one down. He makes a way, his way through one man as Sugasawara makes a tip pass ahead to himself. Everett goes for a change. And coming on the ice now is Parisi and Odeline. Stopping move by Lind Lindhorst behind the net. Lindhorst with the puck. Puck bounding into the neutral zone, and Valdron picks it up there. Fires one off a of stanchion, back into the offensive zone for Arkansas. Michael Churko with the puck. Outlet pass far side. Sends it to the near side, Harlan. Harlan into the offensive zone for Ole Miss. The Rebels fire a shot. Nice block there by Odeline. He'll just bat one back behind the net. Sugasawara with it there. He gets checked by Huey. And the minuscule Huey not able to hold up Sugasawara. Headed pass here for Deacon. Deacon to Parisi. Fires a shot low. Gets through the wickets, but just goes wide in the net. 
Parisi centering pass, comes back out front, it's sent to the side boards, hits the referee. Arkansas still with pressure, Deacon getting tied up along the boards by Huey. Arkansas trying to pass it back to the point and does nicely for Odeline, gets it blocked in front, goes wide of the net. Deacon with it again, sends it back around, has Parisi. Parisi a pass in front looking for Suga Suarez's stick, no dice, back the other direction. Skating it out of the zone is Castellano, he gets poked from behind by Suga Suara. A turnover in the neutral zone. Back the other way comes Milson. Turning move. Looking for, looks like Souza. Souza back to Milson. Milson stick handling behind the Arkansas net. Odeline having none of that. As Higgins is pressuring now, and Higgins is going to come away with the puck. Good job by Tucker Higgins. And out the other way comes Suga Suara. He'll dump it into the zone. And say no icing here, even though he was clearly behind the red line. A little bit more lenient here at the Jones Center with those. Arkansas trying to pressure the puck, comes up high into the air. Picked up. Newman Magnus sends it ahead. Looking for Branscombe. And glove down here by Gabbery, and he'll hold on to it. 2.05 to go, first period of action. Ole Miss on the board, Arkansas looking for any opportunities. Yeah, it's a good chance here for Parisi as he comes in the net. He's going to take the shot. It's going to go right between the legs of Parent, but just sneak past the side of the post. Unable to get that one in. Good chance for the Hawks. Face off here. One back and Ole Miss is gonna pick this puck up. A whistle here. Let's say offside. Must have cleared the zone. A weird angle to blow that one dead by Erickson. Mm -hmm. Two minutes to go, first period of action. Arkansas trying to create some magic here. This faceoff is one back, sent across. Sent to the near side now, Marsh having to retreat. Marsh sends it to Magnus. Magnus looking to break out of the zone and does. This is Valentini trying to fire it ahead to his line mate and senior, Farinetta. And nice job by Valentini, gets that one on goal. Has to be fought off by Parent, saw it the whole way. This one trying to be gloved down. That one played with a high stick, no call. But playing it back the other way is Seeger. Arkansas, a nice shot by Seeger. Rebound out front and a diving save by Gabbery. The net comes off the moorings. What a play by the senior Gabbery to make that save and recover. That should have been blown dead for oh, a high stick. Absolutely should have been blown dead, but instead Ole Miss gets a chance out of it. Here they go, Gabbery able to make the first save and then a spin around try on that second one. Replay cut just short, sorry about that, but Gabbery kicked the net off its moorings. The referee let it go a little bit, let him get one more shot away before they blew that one dead. Good saves there by Gabbery and a missed call by the refs. Well, Ole Miss were the ones calling for the high stick right by their bench. And then all of a sudden they went quiet when Seeger got the breakaway. Arkansas gonna pick this puck up. Huey. Deacon trying to work his way through traffic. How about Grant Deacon? He's just powering his way through, finally gets knocked off the puck. Parent bats that one along, finds Lindhorst. Lindhorst with the puck here. Outlet pass all the way down the ice, just wide in the net. And that'll be icing. One minute to go, first period. Good chance for Arkansas here. A tired line on the ice for still, Ole Miss. Still looking for that equalizer. They've had plenty of chances, both these teams Pretty evenly matched, and Arkansas just falling short on the scoreboard. It'll be Sugasawara to take the face off. They're going to kick Chatham out. Uh, they changed their mind. Valdron's going to get this shot off. Nice save. Fought off there. This one hits a stanchion. Bounces back the other way. Huey knocks that one along. Chatham into the offensive zone. Valdron trying to pick it out there. Valdron makes a spin move, loses the puck. Chatham with it behind the Arkansas cage. 44 seconds to go, first period. On the outer hash now, Harlan. Harlan looking for the back post, fires a shot instead. Shutting down that angle is Gabbery. Gabbery moves to the near side post. Now as Chatham controls it below the goal line. Centering pass out front, high slot, shot off the crossbar. And I think that was right into the glove of Gabbery. In the glove of Gabbery, wow. Flashing some leather here late in his career, huh? There he is, nice centering pass. Good How pass did he the reach first up guy. And get this? Oh yeah, he just snatches it. Sounded like uh, maybe that, a skate hit the, the post as soon as that puck hit, his, hit him in the glove. Yeah, that, that had eyes on the glove side corner and he snatched it out of the air. Nice save by Gabbert. Face off, 27 seconds left in the period. Odeline lost the stick, kicks it along. Arkansas trying to tie it up. I think they're content going into the period here. Wheeler. 
Played ahead for Moore now. Moore's going to have an opportunity. He's looking for Everett. Everett checks up his own offside there. Sullivan bats it behind the net. Ten seconds to go in the period. Moore back to the point. Odeline lines up a shot just high in the net. Five seconds to go in the period. Clears the zone, and Arkansas will go into the first intermission. Down one to nothing. I mentioned it earlier. I talked to you after the game last night, and you said both these teams are evenly matched, and sometimes it'll look like that on the first game of the weekend, and then one team kind of outplays the other one. But uh, I think they're both evenly matched. Once again, Ole Miss leads on the scoreboard, but uh, you see a lot of back and forth, a lot of good saves by both goaltenders. Just the one goal getting by Gabry. He's had some good saves since then, and Parent on the other end has made some spectacular saves. Had the one mistake on the, uh, the power play where he played the puck in the corner but was able to get back into position to make the save on that but uh, both these teams playing well and I'm excited to see the next two periods. Well Arkansas down one to nothing they're gonna have to regroup in the locker room and really uh, sort some things out as we head into the second period of action. Don't go anywhere we'll be back in about 12 minutes for the start of the second period.
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks trail the Ole Miss Rebels one to nothing at the end of one period. EJ Sanders alongside me is Corey Porter and Quinn Shields. Corey, first period didn't go Arkansas's way, though they looked like they had plenty of chances in the offensive end. Yeah, Reno Gabry seeing his first action of the year for the Hogs. Longtime Hog, hadn't played yet this year, but came back on senior night and uh, looked a little shaky early. Uh, a couple saves he made and gave up the one goal, but since then, he's looked stellar and opposite him, Perron has really been incredible uh, both nights. He gave up two goals yesterday, uh, one was late. Um, but yeah, they, they both look great, and that's why it's a one nothing game, and, and both teams evenly matched, like we said. Switching ends of the ice, we'll see how they adjust coming into this second period. Parent has uh, had a couple of shaky moments as well on the other end, but overall has been good all weekend long. How is Arkansas going to solve them? I just keep throwing shots at the net. He's giving up some rebounds. Others he's smothering up, but you just got to take advantage of those opportunities, get clean, clean shots away, and then crash the boards, try to get uh, something in the back of the net. And same thing for Ole Miss on the other side. They got to uh, throw the puck at the net. Gabry giving up quite a few rebounds. You mentioned in the first period you'd like to see him swallow some of those up, but he just hasn't so far. Looks a little rusty, which is understandable. First game action in quite some time, but uh, we'll see if he's uh, got his legs underneath him and comes out stronger here in the second period. Griffin Sugasuar going back and giving his uh, guy a fist bump back there, the goaltender. He had the game winner last night, looking for another goal here today as Deacon, Sugasuar, and Parisi take the ice along with Palmer and Valdron. Face off one back here by Ole Miss. Lindhorst going to control it here. He's going to bat one along. Has a man near side. Valdron tries to make a spin move. Knocks it into the offensive zone. Sugasuar absorbs a hit there. Milson with the puck, and now Parisi takes it from him. Near side boards, Arkansas dumping it into the zone. Sugasawara takes a big hit there by Lindhorst. Saw him follow the ice. He gets right back up. Coming back the other way is Castellano, but he gets knocked off the puck here as Parisi makes a centering pass, looking for Deacon streaking towards the net. Ole Miss comes away with the puck. Castellano patient with it, bats it back behind the net. An outlet pass stolen away here by Arkansas in front of the net. Sugasawara through the traffic block down in front there by Churko. Arkansas holds the blue line. Sugasawara to Valdron. Valdron's toe drag goes awry, and it's dumped back into the zone. Sugasawara going for a change. It looked like he really wanted to, but after nearly a minute on the attack, Arkansas will have to retreat. Palmer with the puck. Ole Miss gets a change now. Arkansas trying to catch him in a change. Wheeler ahead. Wheeler offensive zone fires, and the rebound is there, but it just falls down into the lap of Parent. It looks like Everett is drawing the ire of the Rebel defenseman. Yeah, great sharp passing right on the stick. Receives it nice and soft. Gets in the high slot, gets a shot away. But a great save there by Perrin as he swallows it up. If you're going high, that's where you want to put it, right towards his ear hole. That way he really can't get the glove up there, can't get the blocker up there, but he's able to come away with that save. That puck just off the mark. And just a minute gone in Arkansas with an early scoring opportunity here in the second frame. Snow showers outside. Everett giving one to the goaltender there. This one comes back behind the net. Arkansas is going to pick it back up. A lot of pressure here by Arkansas in the second period to start. This one's batted out of the zone nicely by Chatham. Run down here by Everett. Aiden Everett with the puck. A D to D pass. Knocked over. And now back behind the net. Moore going to chase this one down. Moore with the puck on his backhand. Moore makes a stopping move. Bats it back behind the net. Odeline picks it up there. And this one's blown dead. Because the helmet of Huey came off. Huey's got a nice flow that under is that. That's a great head of flow. Hair. That's what you love to see on a hockey rink. He had a couple of issues keeping that helmet on last night. Like a couple of these NFL playoff beards you see. You wonder how they can get that chin strap put on with the, the big fluffy hair on there. Looks like they're going to take this face off outside the zone. Well, an equipment malfunction on Ole Miss in the offensive zone is going to pull this face off back. I think. Arkansas was arguing that. And clearly that's the case. Chatham to take the face off. It looks like against Moore. Moore's going to get tied up here. Chatham wins it ahead to himself. Chatham trying to work his way through traffic. Knocked off the puck. Campbell sliding in front. Shot by Harlan. Saved aside by Gabbery. Picked up here by Harlan. Below the goal line. He's got Storner at the point. Makes a stopping move, and he gets run over there by Odeline. Marsh 
And Everett over there as Everett makes a smart play to play it back below the goal line. D2D pass to Odeline, can't handle it. Centering pass broken up. This is Wheeler looking to work it the other direction. Bats it into the neutral zone. High and on net, making a center field play is Gabbery and drops it off for his man. Looking to break out to Odeline, has a man near side. Gonna punch it ahead, and now Odeline dumps it into the zone. Coming out of the net to play it again is Perrant. Down into the corner, Arkansas trying to Knock a man off the puck. This is Campbell into the offensive zone. He lifts this one high into the air, into the corner, and out of play. That'll be a neutral zone faceoff for Arkansas. It's like Arkansas will get some fresh legs out there. Baronetta and Palmer, the seniors tonight, being honored on senior night along with the goaltender, Renaud Gabbery. Hawks still looking for their first points of the night. Perhaps it'll be one of the seniors. Faceoff will come to the... Left side of the Arkansas eyes. Arkansas skating from right to left, wearing the white uniforms, Ole Miss in the red uniforms. As Arkansas gets the puck down into the corner, Branscombe chasing after it, lost it in his skates. Turning back around is Campbell. Campbell skates it dangerously close. Sorry, that was Seeger close to his goaltender. As Palmer just banks one off the boards. Valentini skating after the puck. Shepard runs it down, bats one ahead, and picked up by Ole Miss near side, Manser. Manser into the offensive zone. He's got Palmer in front of him. Palmer. One of the better two-way forwards in Arkansas history, a senior, celebrating his senior night here, and he's going to get the puck back. I would venture to say that Palmer's plus-minus is very high in favor of the plus. Hardly see him get scored on on the ice. It's Farinetta shot has blasted right through the glove of Parent and out of play. Parent couldn't handle that one. Farinetta put some steam behind that one. 16.49 to go, second period. That Palmer is a plus two on the year for plus minus. I'm not sure what uh, the accuracy of the ACHA uh, website is, but hey, it's on the positive side, so it's worth reporting, right? Face off to the left of Parent. As Tilson loses this face off. Ole Miss is gonna go get this one out of the near side corner in the defensive zone for them. His Weiser gets knocked off the puck. Trying to knock it back into the zone. Tilson trying to run it down. Weiser pinching down from his offensive spot. Now back the other direction. Into the offensive zone comes Harlan. Harlan looking for a pass. Sauces one across the crease. Getting wood on that one was Chatham. Arkansas going to come away with the puck, though. Odeline shielding a man off of it. Trying to bat it out of the zone and does. Weiser olays the puck for Tilson. Tilson with the puck near side on his backhand. Gets poked off of it. Gates turned it back the other direction. Now a fight for an offensive zone for Arkansas. They dump it deep. Gates going to run after it. Luke Gates, far side, gets it out of the zone. Castellano helps it along down the ice. No icing here. Odeline's going to pick up the puck. Odeline slapping one ahead. Gets through the traffic to the far side, Valdron. A huge hit laid on by Riley. Knocks a man into the boards. Arkansas picks the pass off. Odeline banking a pass ahead for Parisi. He leaves it for himself. Parisi trying to fish the puck out. Gets his stick locked up. He's tripped up. No call. Ole Miss coming back the other direction. Valdron knocks him off the puck, though. Parisi leaves the puck for Valdron. Tough angle. Shut down by Perron. <laughs> An interesting shot from that angle. Another shot there goes well wide of the net. Picked up near side in the corner by Metzelfeld. A stick handling move. Sugasawara shoots and scores. They say no goal. Ooh, what are they calling? Goaltender interference. No one was near him. Yeah. May have happened right before our replay shows there. Look at it one more time. It, it looks like it's Tilson that's getting thrown off the the play. He may have bumped in the goaltender right before that. Unlucky break for the Hogs, but uh, there, there's a reason Parent was so out of uh, position on that one, and uh, perhaps a good call there by the referees. Some savvy hockey fans in the crowd, though, they noticed that hey, you got to blow that whistle if that's a uh, that's, that's a, call a dead you're play. Make, as soon yeah. as uh, Sugasawara gets that puck, you got to blow that whistle. Yeah. Great move by Sugasawara. Put it right between his legs, though, and then just picked his spot. Had a lot of net to work with, but uh, that was a great initial move. Shows what kind of skill he has with the puck in his hands, and it's really going to be fun to watch him over the next four years, and uh, hopefully we're seeing him on senior night one day. Sugasawara very skilled with the puck, as you were saying. How he was able to find that hole 
in the defense beyond me. But one to nothing still Ole Miss. Arkansas is going to have to shake that one off. Disheartening no goal there. As Arkansas ran into the goaltender and waved that one off. This one's batted back along to the near side. Picked up here. It's going to be Churko. Churko tries to knock Sugasawar off of it. He's stiff as a board, though. He's going to hold on to it. Knocks it up into the zone. It's batted out of play, and Arkansas will have a faceoff just outside the zone. Yeah, unlucky break by Tilson there. He's got some family in town from Houston watching him. You can tell he's playing a little bit more uh, aggressive tonight, and I think he uh, makes his team pay for that one. So. Face-off outside the zone. Arkansas. Storner with the puck on the far side now. He's going to dump it into the zone. Picked up here by Valdron. Valdron banks one along. This is Palmer. Palmer with the puck, trying to an outlet pass. Finds Suga Sawara, bounces right through his stick and down the ice. No icing. Backhanded along. Arkansas pinching down here. Deacon. Deacon sends it behind the net. Sugasawara hustling after. It looks like he's at the end of a shift, though, as Valdron tries to pinch down from his D spot. Knocks the puck down. Valdron with the puck. Backhands one along. Deacon. Deacon a pass into the center. Shot! And Sugasawara makes no doubt this time. Ties the game up. What a pass by Grant Deacon from Tyler Valdron. And Sugasawara adds to his goal totals this year. That's 17 for him. Yeah, just excellent passing there. Valdron, look at it one more time, made that initial pass. Deacon, Suga Sawara, they've been the top line all year, and they show why right there with that chemistry. Great passing in the offensive zone, getting the goaltender moving side to side, and a great one-timer. Uh, you got to be so perfect with those and uh, able to come away with a goal and equalize this at one. Arkansas gets the puck. Now the ensuing faceoff. Odeline turns the puck over deep in the zone. Seeger with it. Centering pass broken up. Picked up here by Everett. This one's flipped ahead. Wheeler knocks it into the zone. It's going to be Everett. Everett with the puck trying to knock it ahead. Puck is bounding around in the offensive zone for Arkansas. Everett gets it. Tough angle goes just wide of the net. Picked up here by Odeline. Odeline fires a shot from a tough angle as well. Everett. All around the net as this one's gloved down by Parent. Six minutes and six seconds gone. Second period of action in Arkansas yet again. Finds a way to tie it up. Yeah, definitely getting the crowd into it here. Uh, Ole Miss traveled well. A lot of parents here as well, but you definitely tell it's a, a pro Arkansas crowd uh, celebrating on that goal. Got nice and loud here in the Jones Center for the first time today. People slow getting here today, but they've packed it out pretty nicely here at the Jones Center. Nothing like last night. Three, 400 people on hand last night as Arkansas gets this puck behind the net. They're going to backhand one back to the point. Shepard there, Columbus, Ohio native, knocks this one ahead. Arkansas gloves it down and back into the zone for the Rebels. The Hogs trying to retreat into their own zone. Nice stopping move by Odeline. Almost broke a man's ankles. Stolen in front. Chatham shot. Rebound out front. Shot. Diving save. Oh, my goodness. Renault Gabbery. And they're all over him in the net. Two men rolling around. Odeline about to go to blows. Hey, Gabry trying to separate him as well. Lawless getting in there. One of the referees set, separating him. What a save by Gabry, and then a save on that second attempt. Just a turnover in front by Odeline. Put it right on his stick. A great initial save. That rebound is there for the taking. And that's the third time tonight that Gabry has flailed like that. Dominic Hasek-esque able to dive across and make that second save. And keep this game tied at one. Arkansas, two men going to the box for Arkansas, Aiden Everett and Dylan Odeline. One will go for Ole Miss in the form of Connor Huey, a freshman from Madison, Wisconsin, who ended up laying down on the goaltender after the rebound. Arkansas took exception with that, and uh, Odeline had a little rolling match there, grappling on the ground UFC style. Yeah, he talked about Palmer being a good uh, two-way defenseman. Odeline's another one that really uh, it's kind of taken over that as well. So when Palmer's gone, Odeline will be there to, to really be that guy that could take it coast to coast. But a uh, big mistake right there. Put it right on the stick, right in front of his own goal. Uh, you got to pick your spots. That wasn't one of them. And Arkansas almost paid the price for it. And uh, the goaltender saving their butts on that. Odeline has six inches, or sorry, eight inches on uh on Huey and about 35 pounds. Not exactly the same weight class, those two, eight inches and 35 pounds apart. 
Uh, well, with hair like that, you'll take on anybody, though. <laughs> That's where you get your confidence from. Very good to see a good SCCHC rivalry. We haven't haven't seen teams come in here and be this competitive with uh, the Arkansas Division Three club in a while, and Ole Miss has really turned up the heat and uh, has, has really provided Arkansas with a good uh, interconference rival that they've been kind of lacking over the last few years, at least since we've been doing games. Uh, you know, they've had a couple of teams come in here, but Ole Miss seems to be the only one that comes in here with any regularity and with uh, anything going on uh, on the uh, you know in the physical side of the game. You see Ole Miss mix it up a little bit more than other teams. Yeah, and the SEC HC has been expanding this year, adding uh, teams like Florida, Georgia, Florida State, Clemson, really some uh, big name schools. So it'll be interesting to see Arkansas match up against those teams uh, and see how they play. You know, they're the the mainstay in the SEC HC. You look up and see all the banners here at the Jones Center. So it'll be fun to see. Odeline in the box along with Huey, and I think they're on a misconduct penalty as it's five on four Everett in there for a minor roughing. As this one's passed back door, Ole Miss on the power play, firing a shot, rebound there. Arkansas going to steer it to the sideboards. Back behind the referee now, picked up by Chatham, back to the point, finds his man there, Storner. Storner fires it through the traffic, rebound out front, shot scored. Sullivan puts it in the back of the net. And that's the second power play goal of the evening the day I should say for Ole Miss and really that's been Arkansas's kryptonite unable to stay out of the box and uh, Gabry's given up two quick goals on the power play and Ole Miss takes a two to one lead and momentum swings back in their favor. Gabry makes the initial save nicely is just getting back in position I think the speed yeah. of the game is kind of getting to him on the goals that been, have been scored on him so far. Yeah, a little bit of rust. Hopefully he can shake it off as the second period rolls along. Two to one is the score. So this one comes out of play. 12.49 to go, second period of action, a two to one game. Ole Miss taking the lead over Arkansas. I'll get used to playing scorekeeper at one point in my career, I think. <laughs> They go ahead and grab a new puck here from the scorer's table. We got 10 or 12 on hand over there. This one's played back for Storner. Storner with the puck here. He's going to look that for the outlet pass. It's tipped all the way down. Say that tip is good enough to wave off the icing. Branscombe not ready for it near side. Storner steals it away. Fires. Tipped in front. Goes right under the leg of Gabry. I think he's lucky it didn't hit his skate. Probably would have directed into the goal. Farinetta down in the corner. We're going to fish that one out of there. Farinetta trying to bring the physical play now. This one's set up by Sullivan, near side Storner. Storner fires a shot well wide of the net. This one bounces up and out of play. Hit the half board a little awkwardly there. Arkansas now looks a little flustered on the defensive end. Yeah, it, it was like that right after the first Ole Miss goal as well. It took him a little while to get that momentum back and a little bit more aggressive uh, on the, the four check, but uh, they'll have to do that a little bit quicker here. Still a lot of time left here in the second period and a whole third period left to play. So, Arkansas going to get the checking line back out there. This is Wheeler. Wheeler gets it stolen away by Chatham. Chatham fires a shot. This was batted out of the air with a high stick. Magnus going to touch up, so no high sticking here. Arkansas trying to play it back along. They got Wheeler streaking near side. Everett coming over, trying to play it ahead to himself. Batted along in the neutral zone and now into the offensive zone for Arkansas. Recovered here by the Rebels. The Rebels will send this one ahead down the ice. No icing. Chasing it down is Newman Magnus. Magnus has a pretty sweet flow himself. Sends it to Everett. Everett backhanded opportunity. Sends this one over to Moore. Everett. Can't dig it out of there. Moore, a nice check there to get the puck back. Moore, the right-handed stick on the wrong side of the ice here. Just wants to dump it deep and does. Picked up by Lindhorst. He'll shuffle it along. It's going to be picked up here by Arkansas's Odeline. He gets tripped up on the play. Arkansas centering pass out front. Sorry, that was Palmer. And now Moore mixes it up, and Lindhorst is all over him. Palmer gets in there as well. Physical game. So this isn't the type of stuff you want to see. You want to see good, clean hits, a little, little pushing and shoving, keep guys in check, keep them away from your goaltender. But uh, when you start having dog piles every other play, that's when it's getting a little too physical. I'd look for the referees to try to take control of this game, uh, tighten it up a little bit, and then a little bit more penalties uh, for a little less of an infraction. Looks like they're going to send a guy off the ice too. That's Lindhorst. Lindhorst is done. They'll send uh, Moore to the box, and Lindhorst is uh, going to go uh, unlace those skates and take off the pads for the rest of the day. 
in the rest of this weekend. These two teams will meet in Little Rock next weekend. And boy, uh, if this is a preview of anything that could happen down there. Yeah, you can def definitely see Lindhorst is the one to blame here. Moore is just poking at the puck, not even really hard, but gets his stick slashed a bunch, and then Moore takes exception, and uh, <laughs> I think he just got thrown to his backside there. So Lindhorst, uh, product of his own strength, gets thrown off the ice and out of this game. So those will be coincidental as well. A couple more misconduct penalties to add on. I don't think there will be any power play at all here. Odeline going to uh, clear out the sinuses there. 11.32 to go, second period. Yeah, if you're gonna, don't wanna maybe make a statement towards the referee there, I'm not sure. We'll, uh, we'll assume he's not, but. But yeah, we'll, we'll look for the refs to try to get control of this game and uh, tighten it up a little bit. Uh, last thing you wanna see is somebody get hurt on a play like this, so. Like I said, I like a good physical hockey game. I like a good rivalry, so uh, keep it clean on the ice, and there's a way to play physical. They're going to boot more from the game as well. That's a big loss for Arkansas. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's the right call. If you look at the replay again, what Moore initially did wasn't anything bad there, but uh, he gets slashed, and he's the one that really initiates it with Lindhorst there, so and it just takes the worst of it, gets thrown down to the ice, and... Uh, but you know what, that, that, that's what happens. So I think that, that is the refs trying to make a statement there that any more of that, we won't hesitate to send you off. We're just over halfway through this game and uh, both teams down a man. Nope, they're gonna go five on five here. Nah, I meant down a man for the, the rest of the game. <laughs> Missing a couple fellas. Deacon's gonna pick this one up here off the faceoff. Gonna send it back around the boards and high into the air down the ice, giving chase. Here's Harlan. Harlan gonna run it down into the corner. 11:25 to go here. Second period of action. Arkansas bats it back along near side. Sugasuara to take it out of the zone. He's got a head of steam into the offensive zone. He gets tripped up there. Held in at the blue line here by Valdron. Valdron tries to pass one ahead to himself. Looks like Palmer blows the tire, but Deacon able to get back in time. He's got Chatham on him. He loses the puck in front of the net. Trying to get that one out is Souza. Souza behind the net, trying to dig it out of there. Arkansas looking for the puck. Finally covered up there by Gabbery. Nine minutes, two seconds gone, second period. Two to one, Ole Miss leads. It seems like these breaks in the action too are really, I think more harmful to Arkansas. I think they're having a tough time getting back going after uh, having a good rush on this end of the ice. They end up all the way back on their own end of the ice for a defensive zone faceoff. Face off to the right of Gabbery. It's going to be one back here by Gab, or sorry, by Deacon. Arkansas is looking for the puck here. Parisi's got Some gone. more dog piling going on. Deacon sorry. finally gets up. It's a hold. Comes all the way down on goal, picked up by Sullivan. Sullivan's going to shuffle this one ahead. Has a man in the neutral zone. Arkansas looking for the puck. Comes back the other way. Sullivan going to skate it ahead. He's a goal scorer today. He's got the puck on the far side circle. Fires a shot well wide of the net. Suga Sawara trying to get ahead of steam going the other direction. Gets knocked off the puck by Seeger. Seeger, a stick handling move through one man. Doesn't matter. Arkansas going to send this one out of the zone. Nice little stopping move by Parisi. Two on two the other way. Parisi and Suga Sawara. Parisi mm -hmm. works his way through a man. Oh. They're going to call a penalty. It looks like a trip on the play. Another hit after the play there. Arkansas, another hit there by Marsh. Oh, call a trip. oh, I don't know. I think that was a nice, clean hit and a good defensive play. By the Ole Miss player? Yeah, Looks like who's, he's who'd they the call zone. it on here? Right here, they're on the puck. Yeah. That was a good hit. That looks like, I mean, it looks like his uh, uh, stick got tied up between his skates a little bit, but it looked like a good, clean hit. He was trying to dance around him, so. But doesn't matter what I say, huh? I haven't sent anybody to the box yet. Now they will. And he's going to go for even longer for slamming the water bottle. Seeger to the box. And he'll be in there longer. I think he's going to send him off the ice. Yeah, that's, I, I said it. They're going to try to tighten this game. And it's just, you know, things you may get away with in, in a different game that's not as, uh, as uh, you know, intense as this, you know. Absolutely terrible there for from Seeger. Bad reaction. Yeah, he, he must have said something as well, so. Yeah, you can't tell uh, the ref to, uh, you know. Uh, you, you could tell him some things, but there's a lot you can't tell him, and he might have crossed that line somewhere in there. 
the amount of language they let you get away with, but slamming the water bottle down and saying whatever he said to him, obviously enough to get sent off the ice. They're gonna have to have somebody serve this penalty for Ole Miss. So serving the penalty, uh, their designated penalty server, Joey Little, goes to the box again for the second time tonight. <laughs> Haven't seen him much on the ice, but uh, just just switch benches and uh, have a seat, young fella. Well, senior, Joey Little. Well, I'm 30, so they're all young <laughs> fellas. Sent back around the boards. Picked up here by Valdron. Five on four power play for Arkansas. Valdron, high circle, fires it through the traffic rebound. Couldn't pick it up. Slapped aside there by Churko. Back to the point. Palmer with it there. Has Valdron near side. He's going to load another one up. Through the traffic again. Gets blocked down. Valdron has to retreat here and get the puck on the near side. Good job shielding his man off the puck. Coming away with it with Souza momentarily. Now Valdron, high circle again. Going to load it up. A low shot. Rebound out front. Going to be handled here by Palmer. Turning shot off the side of the net. Valentini has a man over there. That's Weiser. Weiser just misses the puck, though. And skating by with it is Storner. He banks it off the boards, trying to clear the zone as Milson. Milson can't get it out and finally does. Arkansas battling for it. Gets sent back to the near side boards. Valdron going to battle with Souza. Souza gets the better of him and knocks it into the zone. Arkansas retreats. 9.18 to go here, second period of action. Skating across the Arkansas blue line. Now the Ole Miss blue line is Palmer. Palmer very methodical on his way up the ice, looking for a pass in the middle. Valentini couldn't put it home. Backhanded opportunity, shot just wide of the net. Picked up here by Palmer. Backhands one back along behind the cage, far side of the ice. Picked up by Parisi to Weiser at the point. Weiser stick handles there. He's got a man near side instead, opts to send it to Parisi. Back to Weiser at the point, loads one up, sends it down low. Palmer, shot, tough angle, just wide of the net, and the net came off its moorings. Yeah, a couple good chances there for Arkansas. They're getting the puck moved back and forth. Good passing. Able to set up nicely. Only had the one ice that uh, killed off a little bit of time. But Parents standing strong in that. Really haven't said his name a whole lot here in this second period. Uh, but, it, but he's looking good. Arkansas has got to keep throwing the puck at the net. I mean, that's all you can do. Sharp angle shot here from Palmer. Goes just wide. Huey and Odeline out of the box now. Only one person serving a penalty at this point as this one's left off here for Odeline. Odeline in, in the game again. Odeline skating below the goal line, fires another one off the goaltender to the far side boards. This is Suga Sawara, passes one off Odeline. Odeline with the puck here. Odeline, a stopping move. Odeline's going to send one Suga Sawara, high slot. He's got a man down here, Deacon, and a diving play nicely done nice by play. Sullivan. Sends it back down the ice off the referee. And then that was on, off its moorings for a little bit there. Finally put back on by Parent. Suga Sawara skating it ahead. He gets tripped up here. There's going to be a call. penalty here on Manser this time. Skating it into the zone as Deacon, and it's touched up. Arkansas will have a five-on-four power play yet again. Yeah, unfortunate there for Old Miss. Just a good move, and he knows he's beat, so he reaches for the puck, and he gets his legs instead, and uh, Arkansas draws the penalty. And they look good on that uh, last power play, however long ago that was. Six, seven seconds maybe, so... Uh, they'll go right back out there, try to get control of that puck and get more shots on net. And, and again, look for these rebounds. Nice little stride deep there by Suga Sawara to force the penalty. Look like you're going one way, end up going the other. Almost impossible to defend when executed correctly as Odeline lines up a slapper. What a save by Parent. Not sure how he saw that one. That was going about 70 miles an hour towards his glove. Yeah, a good face-off win, and Odeline just had a lot of room in front of him and just let it go. Good snag there by Parent. Arkansas. Weiser knocks it down for Valentini. A lot of time on the power play for these two. Valentini gets tripped up here. He's down in the corner, hunched over. And hey, blow this one quick dead. Quick whistle. Well, good. lost sight of the puck, I guess. Yeah, that was a good job by, uh, I think it was Marsh coming in on that to not lay on the hit on the old Miss player that was bent over. That's how you get a roughing or a cross check. Yep. Good job laying off, like you said. This one lifted back to the blue line. Glove down here by Odeline. He settles it down, and he gets poked off the puck. Turnover, Huey back the other direction, and it's going to be a penalty on Odeline. Huey's shot, saved there by the goaltender, Gabbery, and touched up here by Odeline. 
Yeah, that's one of those penalties. Going back to a basketball reference, too. Like, if you're going to foul a guy going up to, to make a layup, you make sure you foul him. So, O-line there, if you're going to commit a penalty, you make sure he doesn't get the breakaway regardless. So, uh, tough call there. But uh, Arkansas back to four on four for the next minute and a half before they go on the penalty kill. I like the four they have out there. Deacon, Sugasawara, Valdron, and Palmer. Going to be the four they go with against Harlan, Sullivan, Storner. On the far side of the ice, it looks like that is uh, Chafin. So Arkansas gets this puck here. They're going to send this one behind the net. Sugasawara will have some time to recover. Harlan going to pressure on him along with his teammate. Now, oh, Sugasawara knocked him off his feet. Loading up the hit was Harlan, but Sugasawara stands tall. This is Waldron shot. No rebound there. Yeah, those aren't really the saves you want to see, the ones that you just kind of pinch up against the ice. You want to get that pad down flat, but instead he just pinched it there and sat right on top of it. A little bit harder of a shot, maybe goes through and ties this game. Face off. To the right of Parent. No miss in the red uniforms as this one's won back by Arkansas. Four on four action. Sent across. This is Palmer loading one up. He's going to turn back the other way on the outer hashes. Now he's on his back end, gets it poked away. Palmer going to run it down. He gets knocked off his feet there. Picked up by Manser. Manser gets it stolen away from him. A couple Arkansas players confused. Suga Sawire better watch out. He gets loaded up and elbowed down by Sullivan. Better take that number down. You know Aiden Everett just did. <laughs> As this one comes all the way back down the ice, blown dead for icing. Yeah, you can see that hit at the bottom right of your screen. He just head on a swivel, gets it up at the last second, but a good hit, almost a blindside hit. Sugasawara got his head around just in time to brace himself, but uh, could have been worse than it was. And yeah, those are the types of hits that, that if you're Sullivan, you make that hit. Uh, you better have your head on a swivel as well, especially with the uh, the intensity that this game has shown so far. So uh, hopefully Arkansas keeps it clean, but Sullivan keeps his head up. Trying to police the face-off circle there was Souza, and he gets kicked out for it as this pass comes down low. Weiser with the puck, near side. Weiser pass across, a good crisp pass, finds Marsh. Rebound comes to the near side. Parisi couldn't control it. Parisi with it now, and a backhand one back up to the point. This is Marsh. And how about Arkansas getting the better of the Ole Miss hits for the most part. Shot, rebound out front, picked up easily here by Sullivan. Held in there momentarily by Arkansas, and they'll regroup at center ice. Turning back into his own zone is Parisi. Parisi with the puck, has an outlet pass if he wants it. Parisi opts to stick handle instead, avoids the hit there, slows down. Souza looking for the puck here. Weiser going to knock it ahead to himself. This one knocked down to the near side boards now. Arkansas trying to dig it out of there. Weiser on his man. Weiser picks the puck up, stick handles, lays a pass off, finds Marsh, fires it through. Traffic blocker save. Picked up here, five on four power play. Huey out of the box. Huey skates it ahead. Huey looking for anybody, fires a shot, goes well high and out of play. A nice block there by Marsh. 17 seconds to go on the Ole Miss power play now in Arkansas with a defensive zone faceoff. Marsh had a couple of chances on that power play, or excuse me, it was a four on four, but on that offensive zone rush there for Arkansas. A couple shots from uh, just from the top of the circle, not able to get one past parent, making some good saves. and. Uh, now Arkansas will be down a man for the next 17 seconds, as you mentioned. Face off, one back over here by Ole Miss. Back to the point, picked up here, sent across the near side, Harlan. Harlan trying to stick handle here, looking for anybody. He's going to try to work it through the traffic. Back post, shot, what a save by Gabbery. Knocks it to the near side boards. Now back over here to Harlan. Harlan's got it at the point. Two seconds left in the penalty, and it expires. But a pass down low. Sullivan centering pass picked off nicely by Valdron. Center around the boards. Wide opens Farinetta. He almost loses his skates there. Farinetta gets the puck. He just dumps it back to himself. Ooh. Farinetta came off the bench after the power play expired, and the puck came right to him. As Palmer tries to pick this puck back up. It's sticked down here by Chatham. Palmer fighting with him for it. Palmer centering pass, dangerous. Broken up there by Branscombe. Pass off in the corner here, Harlan. Harlan with the puck, looking for a pass and is broken up, and they're going to call this one dead. The net came forward. Don't see that very often, but yeah, it came this, off its more. This is a great pass here. And oftentimes a great pass warrants a great save, and that's what Gabri was able to do, get across to the far side of his crease and make that save. Gabri's philosophy is just get any body part on it. Hey, that's a, the Dominic Hasek philosophy, <laughs> and it worked for him for many years. 
from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Renaud Gabary. This one comes back down below the goal line. Uh, Odeline coming to pick that one up. It's batted back along. Sousa's going to pick it up for Ole Miss. The Rebels on the rush here. Cut puck comes bounding out front. Picked up here by, looks like that is uh, Churko. Churko's going to run it down. Send this one ahead to Castellano, who dumps this one back the other way. Arkansas able to force it back the other direction, though, and Ole Miss tries to dump it out of the zone. A big hit laid on there by Riley. Riley going to check up the offside, and they go back into the zone. Churko still with the puck here. Near side, Milson just misses it, and this one's lifted up high past the outstretched glove of Luke Gates. Goes to the far side now, picked up here by Arkansas. Bad pass there by Riley's picked off. Centering pass to Milson, goes ahead, and now Castellano trying to run it down. Marsh on Castellano, centering pass, broken up by Everett. Everett chips it over the stick of a man. Everett forcing a rush the other direction into the high slot tries to chip it past the man good defense there uh, by Storner Arkansas with the puck Riley trying to find his man on the far side Tilson gets up ended slaps it back along finds Everett Everett centering pass broken up nicely there by Storner Storner finds a man near side Milson Milson's gonna knock it out of the zone for Souza from behind comes Tilson got to be careful there looked like a hook as Arkansas knocks this one back into the zone, Everett's trying to pick the puck up. He lifts this one high into the air and running this one down is Riley. Not a whole lot of steam. The six foot four Riley yeah, opts for the bench end of a instead. shift as well. Yeah. This is Valdron though. He turns it back the other way. This is going to be Sugasawara on the left handed stick, trying to find Valdron. Just couldn't ever control it. Tilson wants a change. Picked up here by Parisi. Centering pass by Sugasawara, broken up there in front. Now broken up by Parisi. Battle for it along far side boards. Now Palmer. Arkansas setting something up. Palmer finds a man down low, Parisi. Parisi to Deacon. Fires a shot right into the stomach of Parent. I like that shot. I feel like sometimes Arkansas really tries to get in too far and they make maybe one too many stick handling moves. But setting up at the top of the circle like this, just get the puck away quick, get something on goal. And uh, sometimes you give up a rebound, but Parent. Uh, is an excellent goaltender and uh, held on to that one. So good chance for the Hogs. I like that shot. Face off, one back here and sent ahead. Arkansas trying to knock it back in. Shepard can't get it out of the zone though. Baker having trouble. Good job holding the blue line by guess who? Zach Palmer. Ooh. Knocked off the puck there. Arkansas going to fish it out of the corner again. Sent it hard around the boards. Near side picked up here by Arkansas. Holding on to its Valdron. Valdron. Knocks it into the zone. Suga Sawar gets knocked off the puck, and Sullivan brings it back the other way for Ole Miss. Lays it off for Campbell. Campbell, a pass far side. Fires a shot. Save by Gabbery. I like that passing in traffic there by Ole Miss. Been able to get the shot away. Good save by Gabs. Manser on the shot there from Chesapeake, Virginia. He's a freshman, six foot 180. It's a pretty decent size for a freshman, six foot 180. Yeah, I'm still waiting on that growth spurt. <laughs> Arkansas trying to send this one ahead. Suga Sawara knocks it ahead. Valentini running after it. Sorry, that was Farinetta. Valentini able to steal the puck away. Valentini looking for a pass. Lays one off. Farinetta deep in the zone. Makes a stopping move. Huey's going to meet him there. Huey tied up with Cam Farinetta. Cameron Farinetta making Oop, a check off. on a man, and a helmet comes off again. That's Huey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he, hopefully he's all right, but... Man, you got to strap that thing down. I have to cut his hair in the middle of the game. Give him a crew cut in his sleep. I hope not, but man, get that chin strap on tight. He's That's dangerous because he's lay one, he's laying right on top of the puck, and two, he's got no helmet on. So uh, luckily, the refs recognize it quickly and are able to uh, get the whistle blown. But you know, it works against Arkansas. They're in the offensive zone trying to set something up, and uh, here they go. They got a. Uh, Stop and reset for a face-off, so. Out of line, talking to the linesman or the referee. Maybe that we'll, going to the box, he is. I don't know if he knocked his helmet off or what it was. Farinetta drops off. his mouthpiece there. Boy, I wouldn't put that back in my mouth. Yeah, you're a hockey player. <laughs> yeah, it'd be tougher than that. Not sure what the call is here. Batman, he, he must have got him up high to knock the helmet off. I'm not sure. Roughing. Is Churko going to go as an also? Now, they got a five on four here. I don't know what Ole Miss is complaining about over there on the bench. 
You had yourself a power play. Yep, and two power play goals thus far. Arkansas really has their work cut out for him. It starts with winning this faceoff. Talking to Huey, Huey's gonna come off the ice. He continues to have equipment malfunctions. Until he can ensure that that helmet stays strapped on. One, one back by Ole Miss, Harlan with it here. He's going to make a D-to-D pass. Has a man far side, Storner through traffic, blocked down nicely by Valentini. Valentini has been an excellent penalty killer for this team, and he's going to have to carry the mantle for this team for years to come as Farinetta will be exiting the university this year. One of the all-time great penalty killers for Arkansas. Consistently on that line. Brands come out there along with Valentini. For Arkansas, Chatham stick handles, fires it through the traffic. Rebound came to the near side, but nobody home for Ole Miss. Valentini trying to chop one back along. Picked up here by Harlan. Stick lift, broken up in front by Marsh. Sends it down the ice. Valentini with some hustle. Parent out of the net. Going to Ole one along here for his man and just batted back along. Good pressure by Nick Valentini. So he runs it down, and now he goes for a change. Good shift there. Outlet pass far side, picked up by Harlan. Harlan, a drop pass, finds Storner. Storner looking to work it out of his own zone. Finds a man far side. Skating it ahead here is Souza. He decides to drop pass here for Sullivan. Sullivan gets it slapped away nicely by Deacon. Grant Deacon slaps that puck away. This one batted along. Storner dumps it into the zone, running it down here. It's Palmer, far side of the ice. Sends this one down the ice. Sugasawara giving chase now. Parent opts to stay in the goal, and Sugasawara makes a stopping move. Backhands one out front. Deacon shot. Just gets blocked down in front. Nice job there by Gates. Getting back on defense. Sorry, that was Churko. Cross ice pass finds the stick of the alternate captain, Churko. S sends it into the zone. Centering pass broken up nicely again by Valdron this time. Deacon back the other direction. Arkansas, very patient with the puck here, just dumps it along into the zone. And this penalty is going to expire. 33 seconds left in the period as well. Four seconds left in the penalty, and it expires here. Arkansas is going to have an opportunity. Suga Suarez, stick handling move, gets past a couple of guys. Tough angled shot. Good play there by the Hogs. Good penalty kill. Really only one or two shots there by Ole Miss. This is one of them here where they just step in. Save made by Gabry. The rebound was given up, but a nice job by Branscombe getting in position to clear that one away. And Arkansas kills off the penalty. And uh, with 21.2 seconds left, they'll get an offensive zone faceoff and try to make something happen here at the end of the second, trailing by a goal. Two to one. Gabbery's been pretty good tonight, all things considered. This shot blocked down, picked up here by Weiser. Weiser trying to work his way through the traffic, couldn't quite do so. Outlet pass here, sent all the way ahead. Nine seconds to go in the period. Picked up here by Palmer. He's going to skate out the rest of the period. Boy, nobody I'd rather have had the puck with eight seconds to go there, and he able to kill the rest of it off. Second period ends. Arkansas down two to one. They get a goal back to start the period on a nice play, but it's penalties. Penalties killing the Hogs. They're really hurting uh, Ole Miss as well as they've gotten two players kicked out of the game and uh, Arkansas had more kicked out of the game but Arkansas both goals they've given up have been shorthanded and they've been early in the power play it was good to see that uh, penalty kill there at the end they're able to kill off another one but uh, really that's the difference in this game it's the difference in this game two to one Ole Miss leads it'll be 12 minutes on the clock to go on for this second intermission we'll be back in about that amount of time for the start of the third period
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, as we head into the ultimate period of this weekend. The third period of action about to start. Renault Gabbery in goal for the Arkansas Razorbacks. On the other end, it's Cameron Perrant. EJ Sanders alongside Corey Porter and Quinn Shields here today. It was a good first couple of periods, but Arkansas finds themselves with a one goal deficit. Uh, they keep finding themselves in the penalty box. We mentioned it already, but uh, they really got to try to keep this game cleaner and not give up those short or, uh, power play goals. The old Miss, like you mentioned, Renault Gabri in net tonight. The senior, along with his fellow senior, Zach Palmer, Cameron Farinetta as well. Arkansas is trying to send them off in their final home game with a win, and they got some work to do uh, to accomplish that, trailing by one goal here in this last period. They'll run it back next weekend against Ole Miss and Riddle, Little Rock. Where's that? Little Rock, Arkansas. All right. Where the Arkansas Razorbacks will play the Ole Miss Rebels. In the uh, last two games of the season for the regular season for the D3 Hogs. That's the we'll only have the other D1 uh, Hogs ice back in here. Arkansas, huh? Yeah, the only other sheet of ice down there. And Little Rock. A couple sheets of ice outside right now. We're getting some wintry weather here in northwest Arkansas. So it's good to see a, a crowd uh, the size that it is with that kind of uh, weather. Uh, getting some Ole Miss fans here as well. Wind gusts out there too are just cold. I'm glad we're indoors right now. It's a little cold here in the ice rink, but nothing like it is outside. And we're getting ready to drop the puck on the ice that has been manufactured. As Deacon gets ready to take the face off, sticks banging against the boards. Helmets strapped up and ready to go as Arkansas dumps this one into the zone off the face off. Storner gonna chase it down, he whiffs on the puck. Dump back in here, another pass broken up there. As the Rebels finally recover the puck and Arkansas gets it right back. Sugasawara faked the slapper there, fires a tough angled shot, easily saved by Parent. Only 19 seconds gone in this third period, Arkansas on the board with a shot. Quick shot there from Sugasawara. Face off one back by Ole Miss. This one's sent back around the boards and chasing this one down is Palmer. Zach Palmer just bats that one into his bench. There'll be a defensive zone face off now. Yeah, you mentioned in the second period, Arkansas with, with stoppages in play really have a, a tough time getting going. So uh, we'll see how they come out here in this third period where they're fired up, ready to go, but a couple whistles so far and we're less than 30 seconds in. Arkansas seems to benefit from a higher paced game. Ole Miss trying to slow that pace down as this one's sent back down the ice. No icing. Went right through the stick of Storner. Storner's going to pick it up there. Backhands one along. Finds Sullivan. Sullivan going to send it back behind the cage. Has a man far side. Picked up by Milson. Chips it high into the air down the ice. Poked ahead there by Souza. Arkansas picks it back up. Baldron trying to find Suga Sawara. Can't do it. And Parisi recovers for Arkansas. Into the neutral zone, he'll skate it ahead across the blue line. Just onside is Deacon. He'll fire this one towards the net. He centers one and a nice job cutting the angle down by Parent. Parent does cover it up well out of his net, 10 feet from the nearest post. Yeah, just losing the puck there, just trying to throw it out in front, but Parent really committing to the angle and uh, luckily able to keep that underneath him, preventing that puck from going out in front of his own empty net at that point. Face off one back. This is Magnus, tries to lay a pass off for Marsh, not ready for it. Marsh was trying to recover back on defense. Chatham giving chase on this puck that was dumped in far side quarter. Magnus trying to lay the body on there. Picked up here by Farinetta. He'll backhand one back around the boards. Magnus not able to pick that up. Marsh cleaning up for him. Back down the ice. Cherko giving chase, and that arm is up for icing. Minute and a half gone in the third. Yeah, really can't get any sustained action going. Both teams getting a, a couple shots away, if that. A couple line changes so far, but not much to speak of yet. Grant's going to take the face off to the right of Renault Gabbery. Gabbery takes his position there. Doesn't have as low of a state stance as Kalmas has. This one's sent back to the point. Cherko to handle it here. He'll fire it. And a nice job steering that one wide, wide by Gabbery. Valentini trying to chip it ahead, absorbs a hit. Branscombe running it down. Cherko with the puck. Has a man near side. Stolen away by Farinetta. He was reading that the entire way. 
Baker into the zone here. Baker gets it stolen away. Backhanded pass by Branscom goes to Aaron. Campbell picks it back up. Farinetta chops at it with the stick. Comes Ooh, to the near oh side no. now. Yeah, that stick got tied up right in his neck, but he's going to get called for a penalty for it. A shot and a save. It's another shot here. Arkansas will have to kill off a penalty here. Not sure what the call is going to be. Was that Higgins stick that got caught up? Yeah, it just, it, Branscom. They just oh, got Branscom. caught up and he oh. just hooks him right on the neck. He, as soon as he saw it, he tried to pull off a bit. But yeah, you can see he slashes it just a little bit there. He was being hooked himself. So. High sticking is the call. Yeah, dangerous play there, luckily. Like he got caught All up. All parties are, are yeah. okay. But Arkansas, like we mentioned, once again, shorthanded. They've given up two so far, down a man. Huey to take the face off. We'll see if he can keep his helmet on this time around as Storner gets this one back to the point. Storner fires a shot well into the air after the save. Arkansas trying to bat that one down was Palmer coming away with it's Chatham. Chatham sends it back to the point. Storner, Storner on the near side, passes it back to Chatham. High circle, fires a shot well wide. It's going to bounce all the way and clears the blue line. Ole Miss recovering. The Rebs with the puck here. Send it ahead, but Arkansas steals it away. Palmer patiently sends it to Valdron. Valdron sends this one high into the air down the ice. Glove down by Chatham. Chatham waiting for the offside to clear up. Nice job knocking that one out of the air by Deacon and having to retreat again are the Rebels. 36 seconds gone here in the power play for the Rebels. They're going to try to dump this one back into the zone and do. Chasing it down is Valdron. Valdron lets that one go, and Suga Suara sends it back down the ice. A good kill here for Arkansas, and they'll get the first change of the kill. Three minutes gone, third period of action. Ole Miss waiting for an opportunity. Valentini pinching up on the puck, standing right in front of Parent. This pass all the way back to the neutral zone. A little back pass here, finds the stick of Storner. Storner's going to skate into the zone. Storner on his backhand, banks one off the boards, finds Chatham, tries to work his way through Weiser. No dice there. Arkansas can't come away with the puck, though. Palmer has to get back in position. Storner tries to throw one off the back of Gabbery. Gabbery still doesn't know where it is as it's behind the net. Back to the point, Baker to Sullivan, Sullivan back to Baker, just missed the puck there was Baker, 35 seconds to go on the penalty kill for Arkansas. Tying it up along the boards, Valdron over there, killing off some valuable time here on this penalty and giving the Arkansas players on the ice a little bit of rest. Weiser standing straight up there in the center of the ice, he doesn't have to do much, and Arkansas killed off 10 to 12 seconds there, 17 seconds to go here in the penalty kill. Another pass all the way across. Sullivan can't handle that one. 12 seconds to go in the penalty kill. Another centering pass batted away. Baker trying to run it down. Valentini with a little more hustle. And over there to help him out is Valdron. Arkansas gets the puck, sends it hard around the boards and down the ice to kill off the rest of this penalty. Great penalty kill. Two to one, Ole Miss leads. Sent back down the ice, no icing here. Off the back of the cage, Arkansas will pick it up here. Gabbery wondering why there wasn't an icing call. With his patented arm on the back of the goal. Seen him do that many times. So this one comes out of the zone. Shepard knocks it back into the zone and Higgins picks it up here. Tucker Higgins hits it knocked away. Odeline lucky that Souza didn't see that one. As Odeline gets back, retreats and gathers the puck back up. Odeline looking to work it out of the zone. Odeline wants to go coast to coast across the red line here. He's just going to dump it into the zone on goal. Parent smoothly sends that one aside. And picked up here. Outlet pass by Milson. Nicely done. Finds the stick of Castellano. Has Souza skating to the back post. Couldn't handle that pass. Wrong-handed stick for that pass. Sends one back below the goal line. Sent out front and Gabbery able to smother it up. Looked like he left a little bit of space there, but Arkansas able to cover it up for the whistle. Yeah, great penalty kill for the Hogs, but excellent passing coming back the other way by Ole Miss. Started with that long outlet pass, and then the pass just in front of the guy breaking in on that, unable to get a shot away, and uh, Gabri able to cover up for the whistle. Been a tough test, a tough road test for Ole Miss this weekend. And they have, for the most part, met the task. Mitzelfeld on the ice. Face off into the corner, tied up there. Arkansas looking to get this puck back for Easy. Trying to stick handle out of the zone. He gets taken down from behind by Baker. Back the other direction. So Sullivan makes a centering pass. Baker fires a shot. Nice pad save by Gabbery. Marsh shielding his man off the puck. Enough for Deacon to get the puck banked around the boards. Picked up here by Sugasawara. He has to fight through some snow that's piled up over there. Down the ice. 
And this one's going to go for icing. Storner, the first one to the puck. Five minutes, 41 seconds gone in the third. Yeah, good shot here in front. Another great pass. He had the, the pass on the far side, to decided to take the shot instead, and a good shoulder save there by Gabry. He's seen a lot of action tonight. He's done pretty well for the most part. There's an outlet pass, finds Sugasawara. Two on two the other way, Parisi trying to work his way up the ice. Not gonna find a pass in the middle, back the other direction. This is gonna be Harlan in the zone. Harlan trying to work his way back past Magnus, not gonna do that. The big bodied Magnus able to knock that puck away. Storner gonna chase this puck down, no icing. Storner with the puck, behind his own net. Sugasawara checking on him, threw that one right into the chest of his own man, Churko. Churko, outlet pass far side, finds a man on the far side. That's gonna be a shot by Chatham. Down into the corner by Valdron now to pick this puck up. Gloved down by Huey on the clearing attempt. Valdron gets it back though. Valdron looking for an outlet pass and does. This is Sugasawara right on his tape. This is Sugasawara trying to stick handle through. Sugasawara lost it in his skates though. Comes all the way back down the ice and that will be blown dead for icing. Yeah, one too many moves that time, but they work for him uh, more often than not, so he keeps going back to it, unable to get a shot away. Good defensive play there by Ole Miss, pitching him off in front, uh, but they do get the icing call and unable to get the fresh legs out there. Two people have been sent off for Ole Miss already in this game, including Robert Seeger and Kurt Lindhorst. Lindhorst, a big loss as Chatham skates ahead and fires a shot. On the break there, Valdron and a backhand this one along. Branscombe couldn't get a hold of that one. Down back in by Cherko. Out front, paddled aside there by Gabbery. 13-10 to go, third period of action. Palmer with the puck, lays a pass off. Trusting Valdron with it here as he skates it into the zone. Lays it off for Palmer. He's got space in the high slot. Oh, he kind of whipped on that one. Diving play, centering pass out front. Got blocked down there by Parent. They had Valentini in front of the net. Farinetta back on defense, but Palmer is there as well. Palmer, a nice pass across. Just missed the stick and hit the heel of Valentini's stick, but that actually works out for Arkansas here. Farinetta blows a tire in the corner, and back the other way comes Milson. Nice job by Valdron holding the line, shoots, and scores! How did he get that one through? Tyler Valdron ties the game up at two. Yeah, just keep that constant offensive pressure on to get the puck thrown at the net, and eventually uh, it's got to find the back of that netting. Here he goes, he intercepts it right at the blue line. Nice job keeping it in. Head up and just fires it, beats him, stick side. Excellent goal there, and Arkansas gets the equalizer. Unassisted after getting the turnover there at the blue line. Nice job holding the blue line by Valdron. Good call by the linesman not to blow that one offside. It was close. They saw him make that mistake earlier, and now Weiser's going to stay on the ice. Weiser on the ensuing faceoff. He's with Wheeler and Everett. He's going to be playing up for the rest of this game as Moore was also kicked out along with the other two Ole Miss players. Ole Miss down two guys. Arkansas down one. Everett skating it into the zone. Just backhands that one in. Picked up here. Behind the net, Storner. Storner looking to break out. He lifts this one high into the air, down the ice. That one's going to be just off the net for icing. A nice shot pulling up there by Gabry. And yeah, Arkansas yeah. with a little bit of momentum swing, and they'll get an offensive zone faceoff now and some fresh legs out there to try to take advantage. Send Suga Sawara back out there, who sees a whole lot of ice time for this Division Three Razorbacks team. Arkansas trying to police the blue line here as they fire a shot from the point, Marsh. Working that one through, rebound came trickling out front, but no dice for Arkansas. Marsh pinching down from his D spot, trying to keep the puck from clearing the line. There's Deacon, cross ice pass to the center. Suga Sawara shot, saved down by Parent. Arkansas wow. all of a sudden swinging the momentum back the other direction. We saw this in the third period last night in Ole Miss. It was just too much to handle for them then. I'm talking about the Ole Miss passing. How about this Arkansas passing? Deacon across the ice and they find Suga Sawara in the middle. You're not gonna get a much better uh, opportunity than that and Parent stands strong in net. And there's a reason why he's got such good numbers this year. He's able to make the stop there. Face off one back, sent around the boards. Very rarely does he give up more than a couple of goals in a game. He's given up two the last two nights. Arkansas's goaltenders have met the task. A turnover behind the net. Centering pass comes back to the blue line. Shot by Churko through traffic. Gabbery can't find it. A poke at it there by Huey. 
but Gabbery able to smother it up. 11.33 to go, third period of action. Ole Miss trying to turn their fortunes back yeah, around another, on Arkansas. Another mistake by Odeline there as he tried to play it off the back of the net, and it led to a, a chance there for Ole Miss, but Gabbery able to make the save. 2-2 two to two our score. Arkansas gloves that one down. Weiser able to find his man. Skating ahead with it. Here's Valdron. Valdron gets it knocked away from him. He can't find the puck. Back the other direction. Three on two. Two on two now. Now three on three as they skate into the zone. A shot fired. Blocked down in front by Tilson. Back the other way comes Valdron. A rush of hogs into the zone. Valdron shot blocked down nicely. Riley picks it up. Fires a shot. Blocked down. Another shot in front. Goes wide. Valdron just going to chip this one along and it goes into the bench area. Right over the backup goaltender's head, Katie Cuesta. Yeah, you weren't kidding. That was a, a rush of hogs. There's a four on two opportunity, but uh, and in, unable to really capitalize on it. Tried to get the first shot away, but a nice job on defense blocking that shot into the corner. And now they'll have to regroup with the defensive zone face off the Rebels well. Generous scorekeeping table, giving two assists on that Valdron goal. Got a helmet malfunction. Yeah, they're telling him to strap him on. Huey's already had issues. That's not Huey that they're talking to right now, but they're gonna kick off. They're gonna kick off Souza for a minute here. Oh, I mean you've had you've had two helmet malfunctions that are dangerous on the ice. I mean Absolutely. helmet comes off, that's dangerous for a player. So Souza goes to the bench, even though he adjusted the helmet before he got there. Arkansas fighting for the puck along the far side boards. Milson over there. This puck can't be cleared. Valdron fires another one. And Parent sees this one this time. A little bit of confidence from the point at this point. Well, which, you just uh, blew one past the goaltender. Absolutely. That puck just comes trickling to you. A lot of room in front. Of course, you're going to wind it back up, but a good save by Parent there. Not as much traffic in front as there was on the, the Valdron goal. And Parent able to see that one all the way into his belly. Branscom tries to win this face off over, but it gets knocked all the way back down the ice. It was tipped by Arkansas, no icing. Picked up here by Palmer in the corner. Palmer getting checked on there by Castellano, but a nice job avoiding the hit entirely. Arkansas trying to make some short passes in the phone booth here. Tied up along the boards, Castellano and Souza. Chip back along, Arkansas picks this puck up, Valdron. Valdron sends this one high into the air, gloved down by Castellano. He's gonna fire one from there, Gabbery gloves it down. He wants to play it. Valdron coming out of the zone. Valdron with the puck. He's got exorbitant amounts of confidence. Skating up the ice, he gets upended there into the corner. No call here. Sit back around the boards. Milson with the puck. Milson looking for an outlet pass, broken up here by Farinetta. Farinetta, a nice play off the boards to himself. Centering pass blindly stopped in the middle by Baker. Arkansas trying to take the puck away. That one passed well ahead to a stick. No hand pass called here. Baker's going to pick it up. Baker trying to find the puck in the corner, gets it caught up in the ref's skates. A couple of guys down there for Arkansas, Branscombe and Marsh. Valentini looking to fish it out of there as well. Baker trying to find his man behind him. That's Manser. Baker and Manser. Four checking hard on Valdron. Valdron has been on the ice for a while now. Marsh standing in front of the goal. A pass out front, shot, rebound there. Comes all the way out, another shot. What a save by Gabbery. He's lost his stick, and his man is able to poke it back to him just in time, all the way down for icing. Arkansas avoids disaster. I think he's having fun out there. He's just flailing all over the place. Got out of position on that first one. He's just trying to get back, cover up as much of the net as he can, throws those legs up. You don't see a whole lot of stacking of the pads anymore uh, here in the butterfly era of hockey, but uh, Gabry's having fun doing it tonight. I have to get that jersey dry cleaned after the game. Another shot right off the faceoff by Chatham. Yeah, nice quick shot. Farinetta challenged it. Got the brunt of that hit there after the shot. Farinetta will go to the bench. Brings on a new line, the top line for Arkansas, Parisi, Deacon, and Sugasawar. Gonna go with Marsh and Odeline as the D pairing here as Chatham takes a shot off the face off, no dice. Goes all the way out of the zone. Cherko having to recover here, has Storner near side, finds his man. Storner weak backhand to the neutral zone, finds Chatham over skating this play as Marsh. He's gonna have to get back in position. Huey trying to skate this one back around the Arkansas cage, a backhanded opportunity is whiffed on, finds a man behind the cage, centering pass out front, broken up by Odeline, and this one does not clear the blue line. Cherko, 
Knocks it back in for Ole Miss, keeping the rush going. A pass down below the blue line picked up here by Arkansas as Odeline knocks it back into the corner. 8.55 to go here in the third period. Arkansas a turning move. This is going to be Parisi. Ooh, he gets, dangerous pass. He gets his head up, though, just in time. That's a medicine ball that was served up there as Parisi tries to work his way by. How about that stick handling by Parisi? Just reaching back for it. Couldn't get it. Suga Suarez's turn. Gets through the traffic. Comes back to the point. Odeline loads one up. Blocked down in front. Odeline's got it again at the point on the rebound. Comes all the way back around the boards. Nice little ole there by Suga Suarez. Suga Suarez going to go dig this one out of the corner now. He's got it near side. He has Odeline at the point. Sends it to him. Shot well wide of the net. Huey's able to tip that one to behind the net. And it's picked up here by the Ole Miss Rebels. They send it around the boards. They look tired, though. Arkansas with a good rush here, banking one off the board. Suga Suara now Hen sends this one down into the corner. Hindered on the play there is Huey as he's able to knock his man off the puck. Glove down there by Valdron, and it's offside. But they clear the zone. Back the other direction. This is Harlan. Loads up a shot. Fires right into the gut of Gabbery. And the senior settling down in the third. 12 minutes and four seconds gone. Yeah, under eight to play. It's a really do or die time for both teams here. Tied at two. As he picks it up here, it's gonna be a one-on-one. -on -one. He gets a quick wrist shot away and a good save, good positioning by Gabry. And it smothers it up in his belly in Arkansas. Defensive zone face-off. Face-off, tied up here. Man on the ground there. It's gonna be taken by Arkansas now, Valdron. Valdron sends it ahead, stopped at the red line there, and it hit a player on the Arkansas bench. Neutral zone faceoff here, Shepard. This one's one back to Palmer. Palmer's got the puck here. He's looking to outlet this one ahead, and Wheeler's able to touch that one into the zone. Giving chase here is Shepard. The Ohio native sends it around the boards. Milson trying to clear the puck. Played down with a high stick, but now ahead. This is Castellano. Castellano on the backhand. Now forehand fires a shot. Good block by Palmer, and this one goes up and out of play. 7.26 to go in the third. Yeah, Castellano couldn't get that puck to settle down. It was fluttering and fluttering. Finally gets it down, but uh, just in time for Palmer to get his stick up in the way and get that one up and out of play. So... Um, Old Miss is getting their chances. Uh, a couple of rushes here of late. Not able to get shots uh, to get past Gabbery, though. Face off. One back here to Palmer. Palmer's going to pick this puck up. Finds a man behind the net. Valdron, that's his D partner. Sends this one up for Suga Sawari, who just wants to bank that one ahead. Nicely done. Tilson on this line right now. Tilson going to work one to the high slot. Fires a shot. Nice rebound there. Picked up here by Suga Suara. Down low, this is Riley. Tilson going to pinch down now. I think Suga Suara is double shifting is the deal. He lost more. Has another shot in front. Riley shot off the rebound. Couldn't put it home. This one comes back to the point. Palmer just dumps it to the far side corner now. Sullivan picks it up for Ole Miss. This one hits a stanchion. Is not able to be cleared. Cleared now by Milson to the... Neutral zone giving chase to Sullivan. Two on one the other way. Castellano waiting for the pass. A quick shot. Saved down by Gabbery. A little bumping after the play here. Let's go back down to the other end on this chance by Arkansas. Shot from the point from Palmer. Gets through the traffic. Rebound is sitting right in front, but good job recovering after the initial save by Parent. And then coming down the other way, a two on one. Ole Miss just doesn't seem to want to pass it on the two-on-one. They're taking that initial shot. I think that's playing in Arkansas's favor for sure. Branscombe has his chair pulled out from under him. Face off one back by Arkansas, picked up here by Odeline. Odeline picking the puck up, and this one gets tipped up out of play. Odeline trying to argue that was off the Ole Miss player. Good effort. Trying to get the face off outside the zone, but no dice. Arkansas got to be careful here. One back to Marsh. Marsh Ooh. is going to pick the puck up. Odeline is going to pick it up here. Kicking with this skate on the near side is Campbell on Branscombe. Going to take an ex exception, but that's a dangerous play by Campbell. Pass to the near side. Yeah, Campbell definitely getting into it with Farinetta now. Campbell, keep an eye on him. He, he just blows the tire. I think he's just a uh, bad balance. Yeah, I think he's playing a little overly aggressive at this point. 
This one all the way down, wide of the net. Baldron blocks the centering pass. Campbell's pass goes wide of Baker's stick, and it's going to be picked up here by Marsh with time. Marsh sends it into the air. It's gloved down. Arkansas is going to take it away. This is Farinetta trying to play it into the offensive zone and does. Giving chase, Valentini, Farinetta, 5.46 to go here in the third period. 2-2 two to two game. Arkansas tied it up on the Valdron goal that uh, is officially has two assists on it. Go figure. I would say the one assist that there was was a turnover by Ole Miss, but Farinetta's going to take it into the zone. He'll fire a shot well wide of the net. Palmer to pick this puck up. Palmer with it on the far side. This one's banked along, gloved down now. Back the other direction. This is going to be Chatham. Chatham stick handling into the zone. Fires a shot off the post. Chasing it into the corners, Huey. He's got a man at the point. Settled down there by Storner. His shot goes wide. Chatham in position, fires a shot. It comes off the net. Uh, Gabry sliding across the crease, knocks that one off. Maybe caught a little bit of a break, and we, we've talked about it before. These uh, those holes don't really go very deep here on that ice, and they come off pretty frequently. They've been better this year. Seems yeah. like they got the uh, divots a little deeper. Yeah, here's Chatham with that shot off the post, trying to go short side. Arkansas catches a break there, and we stay knotted at two. Face off, picked up here by Arkansas. Good job by Palmer. Palmer patient behind his own net. Settles it down, sends it to Sugasawara. Cross ice pass for Parisi. Parisi trying to poke it ahead. He keeps it in the offensive zone. Deacon now. Deacon stick handling through. He's getting checked hard there by Harlan. Harlan can't knock him off the puck. Backhanded opportunity. Sugasawara can't get the puck away. Huey's down in the corner. Deacon lining him up and loads him down. Back the other direction comes Chatham though. Parisi gets blown by there. Nice stick handling move. Flip down on goal. Played ahead side there by Gabbery. 4.32 to go, third period of action. This one off the shaft of a stick trying to clear the puck. Picked up here by Sullivan. Sullivan was the one who forced this opportunity. Fires it through the traffic. Got blocked in front by Valdron. This one comes up, gloved down. Can't find it there was Milson. Arkansas with the puck, stick handling now Deacon. Deacon outlet pass to Sugasawar. Boy, is he always in that spot or what? You know exactly where he's going to be. Centering pass just goes wide. Oh, Deacon had an opportunity there, and he'll get down in the corner now, gets this puck back. Parisi, Parisi has a man in front looking for Sugasawara. He's instead going to opt back to the point for Odeline. Fires it through the traffic glove down Parent. 3.54 to go in the third, and an excellent opportunity for Arkansas. Absolutely. Sugasawara, like you said, always in position, patiently waiting, and then finally gets that puck in front. Great job by Deacon to be ready for that puck. It just redirects it at the net, but Parent, again, has been stellar all day long and makes the save there. Face off one back here by Weiser. How about this? Weiser on the ice, getting taken away from him. Comes back to the near side boards, picked up there by Castellano. Can't get a clean shot away. Arkansas trying to fish this one out of the corner now. Milson on Odeline. Marsh going to pick this puck up. He has no pressure on him. Three and a half to go here in the third period. Marsh crosses his own blue line, tries to skate it across the opposing blue line and does. And they're going to blow this one dead. Let's say that was icing. Ooh. All right. Weiser on the ice along with Wheeler and Everett. Aiden Everett. Gonna have to be the aggressor on this line. Yeah, they're gonna have a lot of trust in Weiser. It's only his second game with Arkansas. Really seeing a lot of ice time, especially late in the game here. 5'9, 160. I wasn't 5'9, 160 since my sophomore year of high school. Put on a few pounds since then as this one comes up. Everett's not going to be able to get this one away from Chatham, who shoots, and it gets five hole on Gabbery. He scores. And it's a 3-2 to two Ole Miss lead. Just a little bit of lull in the Arkansas defense. As it's pulled out in front there and a quick shot. He just beat him short side, gets under his pad. Now will do that one more time. Everett. Just slashing at it, couldn't recover in time, and Gabbery didn't get that right leg out until it was too late in Arkansas. Trails here late. Face off back at center ice. Arkansas is going to need some magic now. Face off one back. Going to be Palmer to go get this one. 
Valdron out there as well, banking one along. Has Valdron near side, finds Parisi. Parisi a little touch pass. Can't find his man, Valdron's gonna skate this one ahead. Backhanded pass broken up by Campbell in the neutral zone. He's gonna run down Valdron. Valdron holds on to the puck. No penalties have been called in this third period. At least for a long time, as this one's sent to the far side, Valdron. Suga Sawar is gonna dump this one in, 2.42 to go. Arkansas might be looking to pull Gabbery here soon. Keep an eye on that as this one's flipped high into the air down the ice. Baker running it down, he's offside. Once he touches it, he'll shoot the puck and he comes down in hard. They're yelling at you to be, that you're offside and you, <laughs> I guess he didn't hear it. Yep. Came Tons diving in. A little Hail Mary pass just ahead of the play, but Arkansas is gonna need a Hail Mary themselves. Trailing late here, they were able to score late in the game last night. And they're gonna call this an intentional offside. And they'll bring it all the way down to the Rebel zone. It's part of, part of that too is the puck and it wasn't touched by Arkansas or Ole Miss until it was already crossing the line. So where the puck, what zone it came from is, uh, is a big uh, part of that as well. Ole Miss didn't touch it before the blue line before the offside was called. So they have to take a defensive zone face off. Odeline soccers that one back into the zone. Centering pass out front, gloved down nicely by Parent. 2.19 to go, third period. Yeah, he's gonna have to come up big. Arkansas really could put up the, the or turn up the intensity late in the game. And you know they'll look to do that here. We'll keep an eye on Gabry to see if he's pulled at some point. It's a matter of when, not if, I'm sure. Face off one back. Marsh just gonna dump this one into the zone. This one batted down here by Ole Miss. They're gonna look for the outlet pass. Chatham finds Huey. Huey's got a one-on-one -on -one the other way. Fires a shot. Easy save there for Gabbery. 2.05 to go, third period. Every second gonna be precious for Arkansas from here on in. Yeah. Gabbery able to swallow that one up, but Arkansas does have to take the face off in their defensive zone. Just takes away some of that time that they have to try to pull the goaltender. They may look to take a timeout at some point. I feel like now would have been a good time, but look at that. Well, they do take the timeout. Not saying you're a prophet, but that was nice. Nicely called. 2.05 to go, third period of action. It's been a good game so far. Arkansas has been the aggressor, but has given up three goals on their end of the ice. And they've certainly had their chances, had the, the Suga Sawara goal called back due to the goaltender interference. Uh, they're getting their shots away. Parent uh, has just been, been great in net today. Uh, I mean, that's what we expected coming in, looking at his record, looking at his goals against average, and, and seeing such a young goaltender uh, performing like this at the level he is, it's uh, impressive to see. But Arkansas is going to have to overcome that. Uh, and they got a defensive zone face off to contend with. They'll talk about what the plan is, whether uh, they get Gabbery out as soon as they get it out of the zone, but really it's all about getting control of that puck and, and not just flipping it down the zone. You gotta get control on the other end of the ice, which Arkansas in the past has had trouble doing uh, with the breakout, but uh, you know I think they've shored that up quite a bit. You mentioned Suka Sawara seems to always be in that right position uh, for that centerman breaking out up the center of the ice, and uh, they'll look to do that again. Let's we'll see if they make any lineup changes. It doesn't look like it. So it looks like Deacon, Suka Sawara, and Parisi. Arkansas will be back here next week. Uh, the D1 team will. This is the last game we'll see. Last time we'll see the D3 team at the Jones Center this year. We'll bid them farewell, but we'll see Arkansas take on Alabama next week in the Division I ranks. 7.30 puck drop on Friday. As this blocker save comes up, Arkansas trying to glove it down, and nice job by Gabbery to smother that one back up. Two minutes to go, third period of action. Yeah, right off the faceoff, Arkansas really has to win this one, and they got Deacon out there to take it. Arkansas D1 team has a 6.45 puck drop tonight. You can catch that one. The Colorado State's YouTube channel, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. This one's sent back around. Chatham down in the corner. Huey's got it. He's going to pass it back along for Chatham. Chatham gets knocked off the puck there by Valdron. Valdron, they go fish the puck out of the corner. Chatham gets it now. Chatham with the puck, a minute 42 to go. Got to be careful with that stick if you're Deacon. He kind of hooked him up there. 
Arkansas can't take any penalties now. Baldwin's going to skate this ahead. 1.30 to go. As nice Parisi pass. near side, a good, strong pass. Nice receiving as Gabbery goes to the bench. Baldwin's going to go get this one on the near side boards. Picked up here, lifted ahead towards the net. And Arkansas is going to be able to recover. Parisi with the puck. Parisi skating ahead. Careful with it here. Gets across the blue line. Leaves a pass there. Not ready for it was Valdron. Skates this one back down low. Picked up here by Parisi. Centering pass broken up. Back below the goal line. Stick handled there is Suga Suarez. Parisi fires a shot wider than that. Under a minute to go. Sent all the way back down. No, blocked in at the blue line. Nicely done. Pass back down low. Just bounced off of Parisi's stick. Tied up along the boards. 49 seconds to go. Empty net. Other end of the ice. 3-2 to two lead. For Ole Miss, this one gets batted around the boards. Palmer to pick it up. Who else? Palmer with it. High slot. Fires it over to Odeline, who fires a shot wide of the net, looking for the tip. This is Valdron now. Valdron's pass just misses the stick of his man. Odeline's got to chase this one down. 30 seconds to go in the final moments of this game. Can Arkansas tie it up? Stolen away here. A pass out front, blocked away by Arkansas. 20 seconds to go. Passed along. Arkansas looking for the puck. Suga Sawara going to go get this one. Suga Sawara with the puck, trying to bat it along. Picked up again. Dumped back into the zone. 10 seconds to go. Arkansas is going to have one more opportunity, and it's got to be quick. Sends it ahead. This is Valdron, and it goes up and out of play. And the clock never stopped. Yeah, it should be uh, at least two seconds. They've had trouble with that all game. Running yeah. two or three seconds off the clock after the whistle. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's going to come out of the zone as it looked like the Arkansas player was the one that tipped it up and out of play. So even with two seconds, getting a face-off win and trying to get a shot away is one thing, and getting into the back of the net uh, is quite another. So it uh, looks like Arkansas will ultimately fall in this one, giving up that late goal, but they'll split the weekend series as they put 1.6 back on the clock with an outside-the-zone face-off. But... Uh, Arkansas really showed well this weekend. Uh, and the, they'll see this team again next weekend in Little Rock as they do get into the zone. But Ole Miss will come away with a 3-2 to two win. It's a team Arkansas really wanted to beat twice this weekend, but they'll split the set with Ole Miss this weekend. And like you said, they'll meet them again in Little Rock next weekend. A final score, 3-2 to two here at the Jones Center. Arkansas just ran out of gas there at the end of the third period and uh, just one lapse of judgment there at the, at the end. Just kind of a lack of a hustle play ended up in a goal for Ole Miss. Had nobody in front of Gabbery there to help him out. Uh, at the very end, and Arkansas falls on senior night. They don't do that very often, uh, to be sure. Arkansas, very good record on senior nights uh, in the past, and uh, just not able to uh, finish this one off here uh, against Ole Miss. Uh, Ole Miss probably had the better goaltender today, and Parent was able to keep enough out of the net. Yeah, it was good to see the senior, uh, Renault Gabry, out there. Uh you know, playing one final time at home for this Arkansas team. Uh, Zach Palmer as well, definitely miss watching him play. Really been a mainstay on this team uh, for a long time as well as Cameron Farinetta, the three seniors uh, getting sent off with a good intense game. Uh, it's, it's good to see them play. As we mentioned, they will be in Little Rock next week playing this same team. We'll see if some of that intensity carries over as uh, we did see three players thrown out of the game today and uh, we'll, we'll see how that leaks into next week as Arkansas looks like they have a, a pretty good SEC AC rival here in Ole Miss yeah for sure and uh, you know like you said next week Ole Miss I'd like to see Arkansas take two from them uh, you know they're gonna have a chip on their shoulder going into next weekend and Arkansas has got to be ready for it uh, they're gonna have a couple of guys back you know Moore's gonna be on the ice for the entire game hopefully in that one uh, and there's gonna definitely going to be some bad blood between the two teams. Arkansas falls to Ole Miss here at the Jones Center. We'll see you next week when the Division I Arkansas Razorbacks take on the Alabama Crimson Tide here at the Jones Center. We'll have Division I hockey. This wraps up the SEC-HC season here at the Jones Center. For Corey Porter and Quinn Shields, I'm E.J. Sanders. So long.